I am a chassifano. I am a chassifano. We win, we lose together. We are as we fall together. I am a chassifano. I am a chassifano. We win, we lose together. We are as we fall together. I am a Jesse Fano. I am a Jesse Fano. We will lose together. We rise before together. Together we overcome. Together we can be stopped. Konditi le koro oladara. We will reach those goals we set together. I am a Josephano. I am a Josephano. We will we lose together. We rise, we fall together. Oh. I am a Josephano. Josephano. I am a Josephano. Oh, 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 There we go. Right. Big up, guys. Like, subscribe, all of that shit. Big up. We're here. Two points dropped. I've drank a lot. I won't lie. Hung over as fuck. So that's the main reason for why we were late. And I'm still fuming. I'm still fucking fuming because that should have been three points on the board. Fucking useless. Before we start, as always... Check out Jersey's FC link in the description. Got a new bundling, third kit. Got the tr the training kit. Um, they asked me to show a few more of these. Well, got a Ruben AC Milan shirt. Big up to my guy Ruben. And the 405 Chelsea home shirt. Makaleli on the back. Big up to my goat DM. Other than that, like, subscribe. Um, check out Benga's track in the description below. Um, check out all the panels, channels in the description below as well. And yeah, should be talking about how great the performance was. We should be talking about how we had Saka in the back pocket. We should have spoken about how Cucurella, um, Cucurella bossed it, Gusto bossed it, the midfield bossed it. 
But instead, we're talking about one stupid error at the back. And uh, it's always just one fucking player holding us back. Yeah, Warrior, Sanchez v. Raya yesterday was a fucking mid-off. And it wasn't just one bad pass. Like, his passing was sloppy all game, in all honesty. Brother was just hoofing it. And then he finally got made to pay for it. And as soon as we gave Arsenal that goal, we folded. We folded. And Arsenal got an extra gust of wind, too. Which is just so fucking frustrating. Because in all these years, we haven't had Arsenal in a spliff like that. In all these years, we've never been dominating them like that. And now, it don't mean shit. It don't mean shit now. I said, pull up my first comment. I told you this once. Uh, oh, yeah. Third kit super chat lottery. Have a look at that, too. First comment. Told you guys I rate, San I rate Sanchez as shot stopping, but not his distribution. Then Lewis gave me all these long kicking pass accuracy stats like I'm a dickhead. Don't need stats when I watch the games. That's fair. That's fair. I'm never going to go against that point. Watch the games, you'll get a better assessment of the player. I got that from Brighton fans. They told me, oh, his distribution's amazing and all of that. We got sold a dream. Sold a fucking dream. It's not the first game he's been like that, too. Now, I'm not going to be too reactionary and say he's been crap all season because he has saved us in some games. The Aston Villa match, the Bournemouth match, for example. I'll give him credit for those games. But... You're now starting to pay for these shoddy passes. <clears throat> and now you need to pattern the fuck up. Because I'm not going to say bench this guy immediately. If Poch wants to do it, go for it. Like, I, my, that's on my hill to die on. I don't care too much. But if he starts and he's doing the same bullshit against Brentford, I need Petrovic against Tottenham. I need Petrovic against Spurs. And I'm saying, would you give Petrovic a chance? Yes, I would. It's just, I don't really know anything about him. It's like the same as just giving Brozier that Fulham game. Just go out and have fun. I don't care. Don't make any difference. Can't be any worse. Can't be any worse. <clears throat> yeah, Warrior, like, this is, this is why we should have at least been playing safe football. And we were doing that. But then this fucking idiot sees Enzo in front of him and just thinks, you know what? I'm going to pass even further ahead of him. I'm going to try and give Conor Gallagher some hospital pass. Oh, and then God forbid he couldn't do it. Shit. Why Pet... Bro, I, I don't know anything about Petrovic. I won't lie. All I know is he was pretty decent in the MLS. If they want to give him a run out, go for it. If they don't, I don't know. But if he starts, I'll figure out something about the goalkeeper. I haven't seen anything of him. That's why I'm not screaming start Petrovic. If they want to do it, go for it. If they don't want to do it and they want to give Sanchez some time to build his confidence back up, go for that too. Go for that too. Like we just need we just need an answer to this situation and fast. The only good thing coming out of this game is that I feel a little bit more confident for the matches coming up. I think we can give Brentford a good game. We can beat them. Tottenham, we should be able to go there and give them a good game too. Man City is what it is. Like, I, I just pray. Just pray in all honesty. But I feel a bit more confident. We just, we've dropped more points. We've dropped more points. And from a winning position like that, it's not acceptable. I know I said coming out of the game, I might accept a draw. But not under those circumstances. I'm, I'm not accepting a draw when we're 2-0 up with 18 minutes left to go of the game. And we fucking bottled it. We fucking bowled it. Big up to LFC saying, big up Lewis, you peppered Arsenal. Could have made it 3-0 multiple times. Arsenal fans are so shameless celebrate. Well, they are shameless. Like, we know North London is full of fucking losers. So what difference does it make? These men celebrated a draw when they went from 10th to 10th in 1920 at the bridge. And now they're celebrating it again. Now they've dropped off a top, top spot. But hey, hey, we, we drew against 10th place Chelsea. The same Chelsea team that we've been mocking all season. The same Chelsea team that we've called mid-table and dusted and inexperienced and crap and overrated. Now we're celebrating a draw against them. That is their mindset. That is them. That's why we are not Arsenal. That's why we will never be Arsenal. 
And that's why I'm as well. I'm not accepting anything like, oh, at least we left with a point. Oh, we played well. No, shut up, man. I ain't listening to it. The only stat that matters over anything is the final score and we dropped a point. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. I'm not surprised they're not they're celebrating it. And to be honest, the one thing I will give them is that coming back from 2-0 down, when you've been doing fuck all all game, it does show a bit of resiliency. That, that can be praised. As much as I hate it, every single week I talk about Arsenal, I say these men are fucking resilient and they never know how to die. We should, have, we should have just been holding on to possession, slowing things down, not doing anything stupid, not doing anything over the top. And then this fucking idiot goalkeeper goes and passes the, the ball and passes the game away. One fuck up. Gusto, I don't even want to be on him too much for the second goal. Yeah, he should have come back a little bit quicker, but he did his job all game. Sanchez, like, I don't remember if he had a shot to deal with. Before that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did he have a save to make before that first goal? I don't remember anything. I don't remember them having any clear-cut chances. To be fair, play like that yesterday, we beat City. No, because we will throw the game away. The game is played in 90 minutes, my friend. It's not played in 70. Like, we'll have a better performance. I believe that. Will we beat them? This is what it's like at the top level. At the top level, you can play poorly and you can still leave a game with a draw. Because the teams below you will make mistakes. Like us. This is why I'm not thinking like, oh, this means we're, we should be beating these teams and everything. No, we should be playing better and we should be getting results. But I'm not guaranteeing those get those results. I want six in our next two. Six points. But we have to make sure nobody has a fuck up first. Because that's what always seems to fucking happen. We never have a consistent 90 minutes. Never. Brother, when it got to 2-2, I was already anticipating it. I was getting ready to delete Twitter, delete Insta. Might have even deleted YouTube. Because, boy... One thing I'll give Arteta, he did make the right subs. Did improve them. Yeah, okay, so they didn't. They didn't. Right. So it's just one stupid mistake from him. Shoddy passing and then once and then that dumb mistake. Did you where did you okay? So yeah, so I got I got it wrong. So Saka won the fan vote man of the match. Because when I left the ground, I got a notification from the Premier League app saying Bukayo Saka has been named man of the match. But then it turns out that's a different award. So Palmer won the official man of the match. Thankfully. Thankfully. Because I don't know how the fuck Saka would have frauded that award. He got one nice assist. Fair play to him. That was the only time we saw him all game. The only time. He was in Cucurella's back pocket. And for the second year in a row at the bridge, by the way. Because I said Cucurella did his job against him last season too. That guy is been our best defensive left back. Managers want to run Chilwell hype for what? Just was watching the highlights over and over. And just, please pray for Chelsea while you're over there, my friend. Please, please, bro. Um, man said, "What are you fuming about, big bro? Watch the game. Watch the game. Or th does he think? Does he think that this fucking..." Uh, we should be celebrating a draw like Arsenal do. I'm good. I'm good. Poch, by the way, he should have brought on Leslie like he does all season. Leslie brings... I I've seen people go after Poch for the substitutions. Now, you can make an argument about whether they were the right or wrong decision, but they were not the turning point. They were not the turning point. I have no energy for Poch today. He's not done anything wrong. <laughs> His substitutions were not the reason why we threw that game away. They weren't. Because everything up until that one moment from Robert Sanchez was comfortable. Everything up until that point, even with the substitutions. So I don't have any energy for Poch. I don't. I think it would be very easy to say, oh, his substitutions fucked us. No. 
Sanchez literally gave them the momentum, literally gave them a way back into the game. We can't blame anybody else. The domino effect starts from him. It's as simple as that. We, we can't can't blame Poch, bro. We can't blame Poch. Um, big up Poch. 2-0 leads the bridge. My PTSD getting triggered. Fuck it, Elgez. Big up, bro. Big up. Um, any any other comments? Cuckoo's bad defense and Chilwell, Chilwell is going forward. Uh, I think Cuckoo's got bad ball retention, in all honesty. Yeah, I, I know, like, there's nothing to really flex of it, though. That's the thing. It's a shame because we should be talking about how we battered Arsenal 2 0. How we had a statement performance, and now it's it's just ifs and buts and maybes and copium, and I can't be bothered for it. Can't be bothered for it. All I see from that is is just two two points dropped. I'm blaming Poch for the subs. He put Madwaki a right wing on the left, and Reese James a right centre back, right back on the right. <laughs> Maybe it would have been a problem after the goals, but. Again, the domino effect all starts from Robert Sanchez. That's just it. If he doesn't make that mistake, it probably stays 2-0 Chelsea. And then in spite of all the questions we have about the substitutions and whether they were the right move or not, we wouldn't even think about it because we'd just be Arsenal 2-0. Relax, big bro. We're London brothers. I can't tell if you're an Arsenal fan or a Chelsea fan. I'm confused. But, bro, like, no. I, I wanted a win today. I wanted a win. Does this game remind you of the Martin? No. Because the 2-2 in 2020, we dominated all game. And, like, they went down to 10 men. They started defending. And we were wasteful with our chances. But we were also the better team. Like, it, it's different context in that game. This game... We got two goals. We dominated for 70 minutes and threw it away. The last one, Louise get sent off. We scored the penalty. We dominate. Don't, don't make the most of our chances. They get two shots on target and score twice because of 2020 cap attacks. It's different. It's different. Outside the blunder, I think Reese James might be past his prime. His injuries, bro, it is way too early to say that. Way too early to say that, my friend. Like, he only came on for, what, 15 minutes or something? Nah, like, it's too early to say that. It's too early to say that. We can't come to that conclusion after, like, 20 minutes. Can't. Thoughts on Gallagher's performance? Brilliant. Brilliant. It was the right move putting him in this sort of game. And, yeah, he was a fawn in Arsenal's side for 90 minutes. Typically did the pressing game. Covered a lot of ground superbly. Broke up play and was involved in a lot of duels. He was excellent. Excellent. Um, Enzo, for he dominated the midfield of Caicedo and Gallagher too. Cucurella had Saka in a spliff. Gusto had Martinelli in a spliff. Sterling had Zinchenko in a spliff. They had to hook him off at half time. Palmer, brilliant. Very unlucky not to get a second. I don't think he was wasteful with his chances. It was more bad luck. He got a very good shot in the first half. That just skims the edge, the other side of the post. He gets the ball given to him in a position he doesn't expect. And to be honest, Raya does well to catch it, at least. There's a lot of good performances. A lot of good performances. And it, I think it's good to at least touch on it. Like, obviously, we're still not happy because we didn't win. But a lot of players showed up. And we did want to talk about statement about statements. Games, at least we could talk about individual statement performances. Gallagher looked very good, very good. And he's been improving a lot this season. Um, whole midfield in general, balled out. Thiago Silva was excellent. That's his best game this season. Cole had some shaky passes in the first half. But defensively, he did his job. Defensively, he did his job. I wish he scored in the second half, though. He had a nice header. He just put it over the bar. This Chelsea. It's so Chelsea. Anyone else I'm missing? Um, Mudrick. How the fuck did I forget Mudrick? He meant that goal, by the way. 
we had everything in the palm of our fucking hand. Sanchez, I hate you, you criminal. We had the Mutrik dagger. We had a clean sheet. We were dog walking these gooners, and it means nothing. It means fucking nothing now. Big up to the players, though. Big up to the players. They stepped up. They stepped up. They stepped up and they did their job. It's a shame individuals let, let them down. It's just a shame. You thought he was us. I, I won't lie. I thought, he, I thought he had good passes. Broke up play well. Especially in the final third early on in the game. Maybe there were some areas where his passing might have let him down. Because there was areas in the first half where we were dominating, but we were giving the ball away a little bit too much. Especially when Arsenal were trying to press us in the midfield. So if that's what you're referencing, maybe I could understand that. But I didn't think it was ours. I didn't think it was ours. Bro, that Arsenal away end was invisible until they scored. Invisible. I forgot they were even there. Head, go even go even check it out on the vlog. That's the worst away fans to come to the bridge in years. Worst. Until we gave them something to cheer about. Oh, it's offside. Oh, 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 I don't care then. All right, cool. I didn't even know. I thought it was just a goal kick, but cool, cool. Um, next transfer window, we should go for a goalkeeper or striker. Now, yeah, you know what? Fuck it, I don't care. Sanchez, prove us wrong, innit? Prove us wrong. You cost us You cost us big time today. In the next few games, if you can ball out and you show that you can pass to a Chelsea player consistently, maybe we don't need, we don't need to go for a goalkeeper. <laughs> a striker, though, kind of with you. I'm with you. Because we can talk about how we still lacked that, like, killer edge in front of goal. Jackson, like, he, he shouldn't have really come on. The guy wasn't sharp at all, and you could just tell just watching him on the pitch. He didn't look like he was up to speed. But if we have, like, Antonio and Oshim, and maybe we kill them off, maybe we bag a third. Maybe we do. So if a, if an experienced striker is available in, the, in January, go for it. Go for it. Because that might have been the difference. Maybe if that happens, Sanchez can fuck up that one goal and it still don't mean anything. Maybe. Uh, thoughts on Cole Palmer's play? Every, day I'm, every game, I'm just moved by that player. He's insane. He's insane. The fact we had to sit through three years of that dickhead Havertz for this guy, it was worth it. It was worth it. Very unlucky not to get a second. Very unlucky. But with the limited amount of opportunities that he had, he was always testing the goalkeeper. Always. Um, anything else? Yeah, players played the occasion. I agree with you on that. Did everyone boo Havertz when he came on? It, it was mixed. Some people booed. Some people didn't say anything. Some people clapped. I had way too many claps for my liking, personally. When it was Jorginho, there was more boos than claps. Figure that one out. Figure that one out. What was annoying is that he came on and Arsenal scored twice immediately. It just pissed me the fuck off. Thankfully, he didn't get the third because I thought the writing was on the fucking wall. We're going to have this fucking clutch Habits goal. They're going to sing that shit Habits chant at the bridge and I'm going to want to kill myself. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Thankfully. Um, Brozier, was Brozier even on the bench? I thought he was injured. I thought he did his other knee this time. Yeah, he wasn't even on the bench. You must be thinking of David Washington, and God knows what we'd have brought him on for. We brought a, a ball-playing goalkeeper who can't play the ball. Trust me, man. Fuck you, Brighton. Remember the idiots that came on the panel crying, saying we should have got kudos? I, I do remember that. I do remember that. Cole Palmer, though, absolute superb signing. And he's got the right mentality. He will be the one that steps up in the next few games for us, too. 
What are you saying about Silva? Best game this season. Didn't put a foot wrong the entire match. Passing, excellent. Reading of the game, excellent. Blocks, excellent. Excellent. No negatives. No negatives. Um, how did we manage to get the medals? Hey, a, a medal giveaway might be next. I might do a medal giveaway. People want that. Yeah, yeah, Broge was injured. I thought so. Big up, Monster, though. Haven't seen you in a minute. Hope you're doing well. Hope life's good. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Man, say you need my ball playing ability. I'm, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll just agree. I'll just agree. Big up to Ant. Big up my guy. Sanchez, he wasn't fine until one mistake. His passing was sloppy as shit. Like, if he was fine, he would have been making saves, but he didn't have a save to make. So all you have from him is shoddy distribution. Couple of court corners. And then he fucked it up. I don't think it's that straightforward, brother. I don't think it's that straightforward. Sanchez will still go on to have a solid season. It's just what comes along with all playing goalkeepers like him. We will see, but it's not the first time his passing has put us into danger. It's just, it's the first time where he's actually been made to pay for it. <laughs> Drop silver, silver can't play in a back four, all got out the window. Yep, that's what good games do. That's what good games do. Um, the man said I was the thief. Fucking hell, bruv. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Couldn't do that, Therese. Um, Tottenham Fulham watch along. Yeah, we will run that. We will run that. Whatever Poch does with this is his decision. I'm not going to scream for Petrovic to start. Like, I do think he can get another game to rectify his mistakes. If it happens again, though, hey, we might have to. We might have to. Oh, there's a never a foul raid. Aye, right, big up to never a foul. Big up. Big up. Brother, that came from Brighton fans. Like, I remember talking to Brighton fans. They're like, he's insane playing out the back. Um, Big Benoit might have come in for Colwell, but no one's ready for that conversation. I don't think Colwell was bad enough to have that discussion. He just had a, a few sloppy passes in the first half. That's it. No one... What, brother, how could we blame Gallagher for that? How can we blame Gallagher for that? Bro, that is agenda. That is agenda. And this is coming from someone who, who doesn't even rate Gallagher like that. There is no way. There's no way you can blame him for the goal. He shouldn't, he shouldn't have been given the ball in the first place. Enzo Fernandez is right there. Right there. But you pass through him. It's not Gallagher. It's not Gallagher. It's not Gallagher at all. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Gallagher didn't put a foot wrong in that game. I can't blame him for a thing. We're not doing that. This is Robert Sanchez, Robert Sanchez, and Robert Sanchez. That's it. That's it. Um, Who's your goalkeeper in January? I don't even know if we're going to get a goalkeeper in January. I think we're just going to go for a striker and that's it, brother. Look back at the first goal. I think Sanchez could still save it. I can't lie. Where is my... Ex One sec. Because I've got my Xbox on. I'll put, the I'll put the highlights up. Obviously, can't play it here because I don't want to get demonetized. But I'll play the goal back quickly and we'll have a look. Could he have done better? We give you keep keep Onana away from me, bro. Keep him the fuck away from me. All right, cool. So here's the goal. Oh, that fucking shit pass. Nah, he ain't saving that. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. He is so far away from the ball, and it's curving away from him. He's not saving it. He's not going anywhere near that. Maybe it's the angle that you're seeing. But he, he's not saving that. Um, what else? Hey, another one who don't rate Gallagher. But we see it too, bro. We see it too. That ain't, not, that ain't his fault. That is not his fault. 
Um, man said, go wank and allow your testosterone to come back to some realism. Fucking hell, bro. <laughs> That's insane. But I agree with you, though. We're only going for a striker. That's going to be the only aim in that window. Go for a striker and move on. Realistically, we bought three goalkeepers in the last year already. We've got Slanina, we've got Petrovic, we've got um, Sanchez. Are we really going to go in for a fourth? Doubt it. Doubt it. Like, really and truly, Sanchez just needs to do better. Or hopefully one of the other goalkeepers stands up. Hopefully. But yeah, let me send the link out. I think we're at that point. We'll see what everybody else is saying. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that crap. Super chat if you want to guarantee a comment gets read out. And let's see what everybody's saying. Oh, Kai's in the army. I fucking forgot. Nearly done, guys. Oh, yeah, also, live on Northside's channel at 9.30 today. And then he'll be live on my channel 6 p.m. Monday tomorrow. And then we'll do the Fulham Spurs watch-along after that. Probably UCL watch-alongs the next two days after that. But fuck the Europa League. I can't be bothered for that shit. And also, back again pod tomorrow. Uh, t -t 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 I think that's everyone. Um, t -t 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 cool. Yes, guys. What are we saying? What are we saying? What's going on, bro? What's going on? Oh, is Saeed in here? Oh, yeah, that's an easy, this... bro. De Gea is still around. Right. You hey, keep fuck that Spanish goalkeepers. No, no, no. Fuck Spanish goalkeepers. Keep away from them. Fuck them. You know what? It might just be that, you know. It might be a that. Bro, you, you see the two Spanish goalkeepers yesterday were having a competition of who could be the biggest crackhead. What kind of coke have they got in Spain? Because I want to know whatever they were sniffing in, in the fucking locker rooms beforehand. Yeah. The only the answer to this question, by the way, is Petrovic. Fucking taking, man. The answer to this question is Petrovic. I've said it from time. This guy, this guy's shit. The keeper's dog shit. And no meaty saves against Aston Villa where he kept us from losing 5-0 instead of 1-0 was going to tell me otherwise. We bought a ball-playing goalkeeper who can't pass wind. If might depart and make a pass to a player. We bought a goalkeeper at six foot six and couldn't, couldn't claim benefits. Never mind a fucking cross. He nearly gave Cole a concussion. This guy's shit. Oh, fucking hell. This guy's fucking dog shit. You, he, you think you, he gets dropped next game? He should be dropped. Run out. This That's is the third game. This is the third game he's done this where he can't pass the fucking ball properly. Right. And, and luckily in the other games, it didn't cost us. It cost us in this games. He's fucking shit. He's dog shit. I think I think the big problem is, is that I think he's lost a lot of confidence over time. Because he was at one point a good goalkeeper for Brighton. Let's not do revisionism stuff. But he was at one point a very good goalkeeper for Brighton. But the problem is, is that ever since Deserby dropped him for, um, what's the guy's name? English. Steel. Uh, Steel. Ever since that happened, he's like had no confidence at all. I think that's a big issue. 
Um, not that's an excuse, but I think that's, I don't know, that's probably what happened because I don't know how else to explain it. Um, yeah, he's he's got a lot of work to do. For Petrovic, I think, like, yeah, why not? I mean, what do you guys have to lose, really, at this point? Because Sanchez, the thing is with goalkeepers, I forget where I heard it. I think, Lewis, you might have even said it. I heard it from somewhere. Someone said that the further back you go in the lineup, um, unless mistakes you're allowed unless to make. Mistakes, oh, you did say okay, cool. Yeah. So that's that's a big thing. Um it's just like, and then when you make those mistakes, you can make a bunch of great saves and stuff, but it always is gonna be overlooked. So I, I don't know. I just think like so I don't want to overlook the good performances he's had too. Like it's very easy to just be fuming about this match, right. but he has saved us in a couple too. It's a that's one saying, like I don't think we need to drop him. I won't kill Poch if he did it, but like Sanchez can have another run of games, try and rectify it. Yeah, it's just the likelihood of that happening. I don't know. It's not looking. We'll have great, to find right? out. We'll have to find yeah. out. Like if yeah. he continues making these mistakes and they keep costing us points, then I think it's a much fairer conversation to have. But mm -hmm. one game, as much as I'm fucking annoyed and I'm so angry at Sanchez, not. Can't really say drop him off that. Can't really. I'm not going to scream drop Sanchez. But then it, here's the thing, though. If Poch did drop Sanchez, you would understand it 100%. Mm -hmm. I was just that's been a, like, hey, Petrovic, let's see what you yeah. got. That's it. Let's yeah. see what you got. Can't be, can't be worse than the last week. Exactly. Well, that, but that's the problem, though. There always can be worse. Because that's, that's the yeah, thing about... Right. <laughs> there always can There can be worse. Like... They could, you could get worse goalkeepers in, or you could get better. Like that's how, it, or it could be just the same. I would say maybe, like, okay. So you got, do you guys have the Blackburn game after the Spurs one, or is it is it Brentford? Know, we, got, we got Brentford in the league, then Blackburn in the cup, and then Spurs in the league. This is it. So okay, here's the thing. Those are two games where it's not against Spurs away, a big high pressure game. If he is going to drop Sanchez, then he'll do it against Brentford and then Blackburn, and then we'll see he, that, you know. He that. probably won't, like, I'm fully aware, based on the comments he made after the game and based on just common sense, he won't drop Sanchez, right? I don't think you for will. For the league game. Blackburn, he should be dropped. Like, Petrovic should come in for the, the league. Yeah, give him a chance at that game. We cop him with you. Otherwise, what was the point of buying him, man? Like, you, right. you didn't need a second choice goalkeeper if you weren't going to play him at all the whole season. Right. Right, because, like, the whole point of having a backup goalkeeper is, like, you, you give him a chance. Especially if it's someone young, up and coming. I understand it. It's not even that. It's like, you, you could have just had Bettinelli as the backup. If, right. if it was just there to make up numbers, you could have just kept Bettinelli as the backup. Obviously, he's injured at the moment, but, like, <laughs> was a, was no real point. Um, yeah, just Sanchez is just... I don't, I, I don't rate Sanchez. He plays the same way now that he's playing for Brighton. Like, the same stuff he was doing yesterday in the game against Arsenal was what he was doing for Brighton before he was dropped. I, I keep telling people, like, it, you don't drop someone and you don't fall out with someone just for, like, other stuff. Just Like, yeah. it's it's part of the reason why you fall out with players is because that you also don't rate them. It's like, why is he getting dropped to third-choice goalkeeper and losing his number at the start of the season? Like, it's more than just he fell out with him. He also probably doesn't rate him. Because why are you starting steal over him, a guy that two years ago, whatever it was, was playing in the fucking championship, and not even one of the like top a teams? Mid -team. Yeah, for a mid, yeah, like a mid-table mid championship team, like two, three years ago. So Corey yeah. just doesn't rate him, and that was deserved. He didn't rate him. Who most people are high on and play a possession style football. Yeah, well, wasn't there off the field issues between De Zerbi and Sanchez? Or am I wrong? Yeah, there, there probably was. But what I'm saying is, like, sometimes you can get past that if you rate yeah. the player. There's sometimes you can get past that. We've seen that before. So yeah. I'm saying he, it also helps. I don't think he rated him either to the sense where, like, he didn't see him as replaceable, if you get what I mean. Like, yeah. he saw him as replaceable, so he replaced him with Steel and then replaced him with Van Bruggen, whatever his name is, the guy they Van bought Bruggen. from. Yeah, 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 Van Bruggen, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> attitude yeah. issues. Yeah, there was attitude issues in regards to getting dropped. Right. Okay. So there was, there was some off the field issues, I and mean, maybe that would have played a, a, a part in it as well. <sighs> well. In spite of everything that happened with Brighton, like forget all of that. It's just he can't be making these mistakes in the next few games. Well, for, well this one is shit. It's shit for the next week. 
Really yeah. and truly, if he balls out and saves us the Brentford match, we're not gonna we're not gonna remember it for too long. Yeah. But you need to make sure you got more good moments for us than bad. It's as simple as that. This one is just like it's yeah, just, it's to have more bad. because we've never had them in that position in years, yeah. and we and that one mistake threw it away, and we're all just pissed off. We're right. all pissed off. Yeah, that's just it. And like I understand it, but can't get too reactionary about it. That, that's why even in my fan yeah. cam, I said like I know he saved us in matches. I'm not gonna be too reactionary and say he's crap and everything like that. But he fucked us today. He fucked yeah. us today. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, exactly. Chief Slime should says should Petrovic play against Brentford or Sanchez. To be honest, the more we talk about it, the more I'm thinking it's not really the right move to. I don't think it's gonna happen. That's the that's the thing. Give, him I don't, the, give don't Petrovic think. the cup match. Give him the cup match. Give him a Blackburn game. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. That Why are we forgetting about Gusto for Arsenal's second goal? Because like the domino effect all starts from mm -hmm. Robert Sanchez. <laughs> That's the dominant. No, nah, but it's still on Gusto. You still, it's equal. I think it's equally what? accountable. But I agree. I agree. Arsenal get more wins, they get more momentum from the first goal. Bullshit. What I agree? would say though, what no. I would say though is you still control your destiny oh. after the you're still, you're oh, still two to one up. So you do control your own destiny still. The problem is after that goal happened, I think you guys dropped off and Arsenal. They they weren't good, but you saw something in them that, like you said, they're resilient. No, you saw something in them because you've been stuck on this bullshit. What? Because you full of shit. That's what I'm telling what? you. Oh, I okay. ain't seen All shit right. in Arsenal. Yeah. I watched it again. Still ain't seen nothing in Arsenal. Still ain't seen nothing. Okay. All this shit you talk, nothing. Was, uh, Jimmy, nothing. Jimmy, Jimmy, but I didn't say Arsenal they were good. Did did nothing. Goal. They did nothing. They had signs of life when they. No, they had nothing. no signs of life. The fuck is you talking about? They did nothing. You can't tell me anything they did. I argued this yesterday with you, and you still cannot tell me anything they did. Because it's not something tangible. Because you can't it's nothing. Tell. That's why it's nothing. Well, then how did they get the two two? Because we had two players that did two dumb things. Of that's why. Of course. All right, so you don't have to do nothing when two other players do stupid shit. You don't have to do nothing. You have to convert the chances that... You don't have to do nothing. They're professional footballers, bro. We're not doing that. Yesterday, you tried to talk to me for an hour. Our fucking rice goal was amazing. It was a no, 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 no. See, it's on my stream, bro. No, 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 no. no, no. Steve, I did not say it was Steve, amazing. Steve, it's on my stream. They can go watch the last hour. That's what you did. I did for the not last say hour. it was amazing. <laughs> Steve, I, we, had whole, we had a whole Steve. conversation about this. We Steve. had a whole conversation about this. Steve. I did not say it was amazing. Steve, it was, was Steve. Amazing. Steve, it's on my stream. You can go back and watch it. I did not it's, say it was amazing, though. If you go back and watch it, I guarantee you. I did not you, say you, it was amazing. I guarantee you, if you go back and watch it, you'll take back what you were saying. Because you'll be like, how stupid do I look? To say an empty net goal was awesome. You were saying it was, it was awesome. a decent way out, and I've seen players. It was empty fucking net. Or the so net was wide. empty. There was nobody in it. Hello, it's nobody in it. It's nobody I'm in it. it was a, I'm not saying it was an amazing Steve, goal. Again, it's I'm not, not giving wide. somebody credit for scoring a goal with nobody in it. I'm not giving a professional footballer for scoring a goal at the back post when he's unmarked. A high school kid could do that. I I don't think so. You wow. see, if you see if Gusto at the top level, I could see that. If Gusto was on Trissard and he still got his foot to it. His board. That's a thousand percent on Gusto. Yeah. I would say, yo, great goal. He, yeah. Saka, passed the ball back post. Anybody could do that. It wasn't a perfect pass. It was a regular pass back post with a fucking offensive player with nobody on them. Who right. did he scoop? He was supposed to score. If he didn't score, you look at him and go, what the fuck? Yeah. I agree. So like, I've seen players screw up that shot. Who Lewis, from the stadium. From the stadium. What? Well, where do you sit at the stadium? Were you at the opposite Matthew end? Matthew Harding. Or? Matthew Harding. Okay. So from that angle, did you expect him to score that? Trossard. No, the 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 rice goal. It's an empty fucking net. It's, it, it's an I, empty net, but it's from a I, certain. Yeah, angle. yeah, 
It, it could have been anywhere. Like it was a nice technique and everything, but it's an empty net. That's all. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is, Steve? Like. I could say that if this was a Sunday league team, if there was guys playing at the park, but this is an England international right, that's playing for Arsenal, who's currently right. up to what you know, somewhat top of the or close to the top of the league. I would have expect not just Arsenal players, but even our players from the exact same distance to hit the ball at the back of the, if they didn't hit the ball at the back of the net, we would have been screwed them. I'm telling this now. So and the Trossard one in particular. For me, I put it down to a couple of things. I don't think Madwiki was fast enough to close with Saka, but Saka's a good player. Oh, so man, that's I a bit, my yeah, that's a bit it, People try to connect everybody to somebody's fucked up. No, I don't care about what's it in. How, no. how, how often a cross is actually blocked compared to not? Most crosses usually get across. So to say Madawake should have blocked it as if he's some fucking cat fool no, or that's something. No, no, no. Well, is a winger, an attacking winger. I don't listen. expect an attacking winger to block a cross. No, I don't. Listen, what I'm saying is that I would have expect Madawake to be a little bit more closer. I'm not expecting him completely just to block the shot, but he, he was way off the area. It doesn't make a difference if Madawake's closer because at least Madawake. Was on his man. His he Madawaki's job right there is not to block the cross. Let's cut it out. We do not beat up our attacking wingers for not blocking a cross. No, I'm not We're going not to doing that. Did Fair you win? We're mate. not doing that. Did you win? I'll talk about hold what you you were <laughs> 20 minutes. What are you talking about? No. How many how many block honest. crosses Sterling had yesterday? How many block crosses Cole right. Palmer had yesterday? No, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not no, we don't that's not a stat. Right. No, yeah. Listen, yeah. I'm not talking about in the reference of the whole game, he was one of our worst players because he didn't block the cross. I'm not talking about that. If I'm just isolating it to that one incident and I'm looking at every single player and I'm saying, what could you have done better? This is what you could have done a little bit better, but you're not the main responsible problem. You're not no percent. Not, Gusto is ninety nine point nine percent of the problem. Dish out the yeah, other point one, goes, however you want. Goes, Gusto dish out the other point, yeah. Gusto was point it, zero one 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 percentage. Dish it out. But when you look over your shoulder, look at your man in his eye, and still leave him there, you're the fucking fault. Because when you look at the replay, yeah. which I've yeah. done many yeah. times. Already, Gusto. You see, if he never looked, I'd have been like, "Fuck!" He just made a, a, a natural brain error. He Bad looked. Judgment. Bad he judgment. saw him, yeah. and then he ball watched. I, you don't get. I agree. No I agree. Don't, that. People no, stop telling me his fucking age. What does his age have to do with that? Under twenty. Under under what what group? What unders do you allow your defenders to not play defense? No. What unders? Under no. fives? Under fours? No. And the threes? Everyone plays defense. Like, That's my point. So yeah. people mentioning his age is weak. That's weak. Yeah, That's yeah weak. I'm watching uh, it. This was 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 this inexperience of switching off and not being present for the whole game? Do they mean his positional awareness? I don't know what, they, like, don't know what they mean. They, they, tell you, they tell you how great he played. Wow. They don't mention his age. And then his fuck up, they mention his age. I don't get that. Don't mention his age. He's a professional footballer. He was good enough, no, no, no. He was good I'm, enough I'm, to be a starting I'm right back for Leon. So now he's good enough to start for Chelsea. You, those mistakes are foolish. Exactly. Yeah. Listen, I'm open to somebody saying, listen, because of his age, this is why he messes up. I'm open to hearing it, but right now, I don't know what you're going on, so I can't make up for you. But the main culprit, a lot of this game, that what it boiled down to was Sanchez's error. Without Sanchez's error, that was the domino effect to everything that led afterwards. I don't believe in that, neither. I think it was a double. There's game. no, there's no rule that because a keeper gives away a goal, that means you got to give away another goal. Where, see, when y'all say domino, it's not a rule, you make, but it, y'all make it seem as if, y'all make it seem as if because Sanchez made a howler that gave everybody else the green light he's, to make a howler. When you go, when somebody on your team makes a howler, that should make everybody else heighten up 
not get worse. Not you should go all shit. We were down 2-0. I'm saying we were up 2-0. We're up 2-1. We you you don't come. I'm, I'm gonna say it like this. As a parent, you don't compound a fuck up with yeah. another fuck up. Yeah, yes. You understand? Yeah. You don't look at the second fuck up yeah. as worse than the first. Because Jimmy, I think what we're saying is I think that, what that maybe speaks about a little mentality issue then. Yeah, it's because just, I it's, agree, it's two yeah. individual it's two individual errors, but I also believe as well that first goal it gave Arsenal momentum, it gave them a second. I agree. Mm -hmm. I think both I, sides. I, 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 you know why? You know why? You know why I, I don't see it that. like that? If, 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 if after that, if after that they would have had attack, attacks on goal, pockets of play, and we'd get lost, I would agree with that. We were we were back calm. There was nothing wrong. We still had we still controlled our own destiny. Nobody was running up and down looking nervous. Nobody was making dumb passes. Everything was calm. Because if you go back and look at my stream, I was sitting up laughing and chilling because I was still calm. Like, yeah, we good. We got this. You had that question. Arsenal have yeah, not been able to do anything calm. all day. Maybe, maybe really it's was, just because all the I was nervous about Ketia had that chance. Maybe that's why. Maybe it feels like that because of that. And you can ask Steve. All I kept saying was, I do not like us keep playing out the back. I, w I would not mind if he put on Jackson and yeah. hoof it out a little bit yeah. every now and then. Because you know who else had a stinker? And I'm going to keep it real. Levi oh. Caldwell was yeah. terrible. He Some of the was, was terrible. When he, he would receive the ball, he would it would look like he never done it in his life. He got the ball. Like, he, missed look, he, he was he was doing what, what Ben Chow Chilwell does. He yeah. waited till the defender attacked him, and then just hoofed it forward full speed in the rain. I'm like Caldwell. Yeah. It's raining. It's gonna be almost impossible for people to control that bullet pass. You got it. It's like he he wasn't he didn't adjust his game to what the front three was, and what the front three was was beautiful. That's why Saliba and and um that bum was the other fucking bum that I hate. Saliba's the beast. The other one's the bum. The Gabriel. beast and the bum. Gabriel. That's why they was lost because there was nobody for them to mark. Nobody. Yeah. Cole Palmer and like sometimes we had two up a front. It was so confusing. They did not know what to do. But playing out of the back, Caldwell kept doing the same fucking thing. And, and to me, I'm sorry, I blame a little bit of that on coaching. Because as the coach, how do you keep seeing that and not say, look, okay, instead of playing it deep, do this, do that, do this, do that. I know some people say, oh, um, I tend to micromanage, pet micromanages, but they also a lot of times get rid of those mistakes by letting it happen once or twice, then getting up and in the moment say, stop, stop doing that. Potch just let him keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Pause. And then, and then, and then since if we're going to do the blame game on the fucking mistakes, since, that, since we allowed that with, with Gusto, y'all want to bring up Nani. What the fuck was Enzo looking for? Who he thought was gonna get the ball? Casper the friendly ghost? Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's, who, fair. Who, that's fair. Go to the ball. I mean, it wasn't directly to you, but you still should go to the ball. It wasn't that far enough away from you to not go. Okay, that that got it. That it, it's not for me. But damn, that's it's close enough. Yeah. At least, at least, if I'm not gonna let get it, protect it. Yeah. Get in front of it. Get your body in the way or something. Thank you. Yeah. And you know what? I, I, it, don't get me wrong. 99.9% .9 of that fucking blame was fucking Sanchez. It was I'm because you was no, so no one else was there. You know what it was, Scott? Oh, we up to nil. I can just do. I that's not I'm looking, I'm no, looking back at the first goal. I'm 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 get it. But go like protect it. He completely left it. Left yeah, it. The space. Oh, it's chase the ball. Do something. Chase the ball. Okay. That way it puts pressure on Rice to have to chase it too. Rice okay. to the yeah, I just agree because I think sense. do you know I think because the thing that like I, I I said I said like to clear it, Jimmy, as well to play along. But the thing is you could play it short. Just play the pass right. You've played that on your weak foot. You've to hit the, that into no right. man's land. To you've no hit that in no man's land. You played it to a guy. This is why I'm not blaming Gallagher. You can see when Gallagher's like Gallagher's on the half turn, ready to make a third man run because he's expecting yeah, he, it to go to end zone. No like, Gallagher. like Gallagher's expecting that to go to someone else, and all of a sudden he's got to like turn because he sees Rice run past him and like what? 
He's like, and the ball's coming towards him. It's like, bro, why? <laughs> There's no one else I'm putting out on apart from Sanchez. Because, like, bro, you could play a short pass that Kukurea was free. You've got, if you want to come across, you play it back out to Gusto, because I think it came from Gusto in the first place. You can reset that and you choose to play it down the middle to a guy not expecting it. Again, I'll go back to something I commented earlier. This is meant to be a ball-playing goalkeeper who can't pass the fucking ball. Yeah. I'm you know what that is to me? I feel like that was on some... Like, 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 like Lewis said, mentality. Sanchez is not a... Men, he's not... These guys... A lot of these guys are not winners of anything. So when you up a 2-0 as a winner, you like, okay, we up 2-0, if anything... We can allow one, but it ain't going to be no sneak, yeah. no, nothing, nothing sneaky, nothing slippery. We're not giving them anything. And that's why I agree. You can't give them a fucking goal. We, and yeah. you go back on the stream, that's all I said. Whatever, if I said, I don't care if Arsenal score to make it 2-1. Just make them earn it. Make them earn it. We we gave them two goals. And the yeah. reason that, that pissed me off the most about the second one, which when it's all said and done, they're equally fucking balanced because they're both a goal. But the second one was everybody, most of us has played sports before organized. When you make a, when a, when your teammate make a mistake, it heightens your awareness. Like, oh, he fucked up. I ain't going to be the GOAT. When I say GOAT in America, before it meant greatest at all time, the GOAT meant the escape GOAT. And that's what we used to say when I was young. I ain't about to be the GOAT. I ain't about to be the person we we blame for us losing. And, and and that's how I... So that's my mentality when I see it. Because even though Sanchez fucked up, all this and all that, and this is what I was trying to explain yesterday with Xavi and what you call it. I understand. I, I could be as mad as I want and say Sanchez opened the floodgates. When it's all said and done, we could have won with Sanchez's mistake. Yes. With Busto's mistake, we can't win. There's no points to get. Sanchez's mistake, we still had three points on the table. Still one. You, you, you so, you know, he played so fucking well. Yeah. I mean, it makes you go, oh my gosh, this fucking scouting team. Whoever they pick up, I'm just like, mm -hmm. yo, my hands is up. Obama, like, yo, that's what everybody saying. they get, I'm, 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 when I you really get it. I was saying that's that yesterday on the stream yeah. where it's like when it comes to the goalkeeper thing, because there was someone that come in and go, oh, there wasn't anyone oh, else know there. Do you know Get what you it pisses me off? It's yes. like I've seen from this this scouting team that like Gusto, Palmer, you um, know Uga Chuk, like Uga Chuk, I mean, whether it be like damn near every person they've bought has been a, a success. I mean. Like damn near every person they've bought has been a success to the point I'm going, you looked all over and this was the best dude you could find to be in goal. You're telling me there was no one else that you could find was better. I, I would give Petrovic a try. Fuck it. Now that I think about it, nobody else they picked up has been shit. Pick yeah, up that's what I'm saying. Their, their worst, their worst buy that they've done so far, you'd argue apart like so far has probably been Madaweke. And even him, I, I don't know how to judge fully because he hasn't been given game time. And if mm. you want to be real about it, he was more Vivel signing than anything else. Vivel was the one who pushed for him. If we're talking this, like Win Stanley, Stewart, etc. I can't remember a, like a dud they've had so far, like a real like just an L. Uh, what, what what I was, 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 I would, was that just directly from Silver? Them, was, was that from the Silver was not. Uh, I can name you two <laughs> players right now that was better than Silver. Gallagher, oh, like Palmer, and was, Palmer, 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 was, Palmer was man of match. Followed by Kuka, followed by Kukurea. Palmer and Kukurea. Yeah, and Gallagher. And Gallagher was up there amazing. as well. Yep. It was fucking amazing. Was leading that's what, you know what? That's what yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what pisses me off the most about this is like instead of coming out of this game talking about an amazing performance <laughs> and the fact that every single player, while you could argue two was incredible, we're talking you know, about two dumb, stupid mistakes. Yo, yeah, you, know what my, you know what my, my post match like, was gonna be a dedication to fucking. Gallagher. All I kept sitting down to myself, I say people are gonna be so surprised when they hear what I say about Gallagher because Steve can tell you in, in my preview. Who did I say was gonna be king? I Gallagher, said Gallagher, Gallagher, Gallagher and you said to Christ for five, we will dominate. To and that's exactly what he did. Oh, Gino, he got Gino, on top Gino, of Gino. Not, he, not was, he was on top Gino. of the fucking keeper. He was they, everywhere. People forget. Hey, I just got a question. I know he scored, and I think it was a good goal, but fuck that. He was locked out. Right? 
Like, I was going to say, where was world class midfielder, complete midfielder, Cobham Zone, Declan Rice, 120 million pounds? Oh, every yeah. He got like, do- like, no pun intended, he got dog walked by Connor Gallagher. Connor Gallagher. Lock Rice. Gallagher locked down the entire midfield. I'm going to be Where sure. was Martin Erdogan? Where was Erdogan? Where was, where was, where was where was bro, this is uh, Scott, what I just while you say that, right? I want right. to show you something funny now you just mentioned it. He murked Rice. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> no, do you know what? Like, the thing is, Rice was probably their best player, and that shows you how shit they That's were. That shows you how shit they were. You're right. They were dog shit. That goal, they were fucking nothing. awful. Yeah, nothing. Right. The, only player, the only you players that yeah, walk I, off I, the pitch for I, 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 and hold their heads high were Rice, just because the goal, uh, uh, Trossard because the goal, and Tommy Yasu. That tells you everything. I think the Liverpool players were still 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 That was just it. I think Liverpool was all right. And, and yo, to be honest, to be honest, Scott, not even Tommy Yasu, because Sterling cooked him a few times, and that fucking ref let Tommy Yasu get away with grabbing and pulling him down. Two times, Sterling cooked him. And he fucking grabbed Sterling and let him go. And Sterling fell. And the ref ain't call a whistle. So I give Tommy Asu all right. But Sterling cooked him twice. And then he didn't get a call. That's another thing I didn't like. But other than that. As well, Jimmy, I also and what's annoying as well. And I mentioned this um, so last night in the stream I was on, Wes. Like, I saw people complain about the subs. I'm going to be completely honest. We win that game. No one's complained about the subs. Because the subs <laughs> made... Yep. The that subs agree. made com- in, in, in the moment when they were made, the subs made 100% sense. You brought right. on Madaweke and James to get the minutes because obviously James has come back from injury. Madaweke, you're trying to in like bring him back into the squad. Who else did we bring on? We brought on Jackson again. That makes sense. You're Jackson, trying to get him yeah. minutes, and you Jackson and you're trying to off. and you're trying to do something different in attack in terms. Of you want him to hold the ball up more. We just didn't really give him the ball too much. When and and Who's gonna complain about no, that? No, 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 no. Scott, I say it was, it was, it was Scott, just those three, wasn't it? I think it was, issue. it was just those three subs, which made complete sense considering where we were in the game. And you took off the players that were tired to rest them for Brentford. The reason they look shit, like James did nothing when he came on, because I didn't expect him to do anything because he should come back from injury. But we needed him to do something because we fucking conceded. Yeah. And they and they now look shit because we fucking conceded two stupid goals. I, I, wait, Scott, wait, Scott, wait, Scott. On the substitutions, you <laughs> said that James. Madwike and Jackson were brought on for minutes purposes, but were they brought on to either protect the lead or win the game? That should be the priority. Protect the lead. I, I'm sorry, should be just to give hey, them a run around. I, yo, I'm not it's with this revision. Is garbage. Right. There was nothing wrong with any substitute. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing with really with the subs are made to look worse. You had a boom, the game. Yeah, you had a super howler by your keeper, and then a bonehead moment. By a right back. No, uh, I what agree, but I'm just going off what, what Scott is saying. What, what were we supposed to score more goals? Because that wasn't the mission. No, no I'm I didn't off. It, So, like, it was, it was, the, 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 you can't nitpick everything and, and, and make something out of nothing. The, you, what the, no substitute put a foot wrong. So, it's like, don't nitpick. The substitutes is not why we lost. The starters is why we lost. Mainly Sanchez. And Gusto. Yes. So to blame the subs is dumb. When this when it started. Don't blame the subs. What what I'm thinking because what okay I'll go because I don't know why um Poch brought on the subs or what he was attempting to do in the game. All right. And based on what Scott explained, this person came on to bring them minutes, give them a rest for Brentford, etc. That doesn't strike to me as I'm here. I brought on let's say, um I don't know Leslie. Brought him in the midfield, like a John Obi Bikel type situation, to protect the lead no, and just shore up the you midfield. You can't do anything down our middle. That's you see why that's useless. No, what you're saying, but what you're saying, you you just said. Well, only thing you're doing is naming something opposite of what he did. But your opposite does nothing to help the fucking game, bro. They didn't score down our middle. So putting in Uga Chuku does what? They didn't what? score down our middle. They didn't pass through our middle. They didn't dissect our middle. So mm-hmm. our midfield was not a problem. So Uga Chuku did not need to come on. It was, to what? It was, exactly. No, it, 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 if you brought on Uga Chuku, you'd be rectifying a problem that you didn't have. So you also, didn't need to have a solution. When would, he, when would he have brought Uga Chuku on? Because the thing for me, and I think Lewis was going to say this <laughs> earlier, with the especially with the second goal, what some of that comes from is a lack of experience. And that's what we've been talking about as 
as a fan base in terms of that's the one area we maybe could have done better in terms of in the summer. Recruit, and man. bringing Uga Chukwon in that midfield lowers the experience that you have in that midfield. The two guys ahead of him are more experienced in that situation than he is. Everyone on the pitch are pretty much is more experienced than Uga Chukwu in that position. And like, as I say, like at that, Andrew said it, like we did that at two nil up and comfortable. Like at that point, like I completely understand what Poch is thinking. It's like Reese comes on to get minutes because he's like, he's just come back from injury. It makes sense. Jackson the same. He's just come back from a, a niggling injury. You give him minutes because he's probably going to start, you'd imagine against Brentford. So you give him some minutes here. Madaweke, again, you give him minutes because he hasn't played a lot and you might be rotating him in for Blackburn. It makes sense, right? And also, you're trying to think of a different option because you need to take Mudrick off or you need to take Palmer off or whatever. They made sense. They made complete sense. The reason they look shit is because we ended up drawing two all. And so we asked, we're we asking them to do something. And Jackson probably could have done better with one of his chances. But we're, we're going from, oh, these guys are just getting minutes to we're now relying on them to change the game for us. Because of two fucking idiot moments in defence. Yeah, I'm thinking to myself, why did firstly, if Sterling is our most experienced attacker and he was given the problems, why did he come off? That's what. <coughs> I mean. That's number one. Yo, number because three. they were tired. That even, yeah. even I was screaming Quietness. for. Him. I was screaming for him to come off because I was like, yo, take somebody out the front off, put Jackson on. I Just screamed that from, the 60th, from the 60th minute on. You can see those guys were tired. Even Mudrick, you can see. They were not moving at the same pace. They were a little bit tired. You can see it. They were moving slower. The moves that uh, Pochettino made, it was nothing fucking wrong with them. Now, you can question the, the side he put uh, Nani on. Uh, it don't matter because they, they, they played no role. They literally played zero role in the goals. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't lose because we didn't score enough. We lost because we made two mm -hmm. bozo moves. No, a super bozo move, and Gusto fell asleep. Gusto no. falling asleep is way more excusable to me than what Sanchez did. Oh, hundred percent. Sa what it's Sanchez did is, yeah. is 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 what is all you beg your fucking goalkeeper not to do is not give away a goal. Don't just, just give away do a the basics, do goal. the basics and fundamentals correct. Yeah. It's like make if they if they if they work hard and they score, you can live with that. You know why? Because they're professionals. If it's a wonder goal if it's uh it doesn't have problem. to be a wonder goal, just a goal, period. But make them earn it. He gave them a goal. He literally he Sanchez, instead of passing the ball forward, he should have just turned around and kicked it in the back of his own net. It was the same thing. That's how easy it was. <laughs> yeah. He should have just got the ball and kicked it in the back of his own net. Yeah. yeah. I want to mention this earlier, by the way. That Sanchez moment reminded me of Mendy last season. Which game? Against Robert Robert Madrid. Madrid. Just, just, just in no, general. No, just, no, just, no, 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 just in general. Mendy, that reminded me of Mendy last season against Mendy, Lee. Mendy against had, against yeah, fucking every team where he made a mistake. Yeah. I remember, Mendy, yeah. I remember we subbed Mendy in one game, and then like within five minutes, he did that. And we was like, I was like, oh shit, get him out. Yeah, that's so bad. It like, literally reminded me of Mendy <laughs> last season. Like every mistake he made, like the Leeds goal, the the Real Madrid thing. Like so many times, I was like, oh fucking, just just mistake after mistake. And that's but just. I do. I do need to but... say I, in the beginning of my stream, but I did say all that fucking money we spent on that midfield. I want that midfield bossed. And guess what? Midfield was bossed. Mitchell yeah, was fucking boss. Caicedo was all over the place. Mm -hmm. Enzo was doing this thing. I like what I, I can't complain about nothing. Nobody did. I really want no complaints. Only, only thing I can only thing only I, thing I, don't I like, can complain about. Enzo, got, Enzo is J five with the right foot. That was Nobody, was about, like, that's the only thing I complain about yes. when it comes to Enzo. He, yes. he can't it's, do it's the shit. Me, Enzo it, can't shoot. Work on his, his mother fucking shooting. Apart yeah, from that, he's, <laughs> he's horrible with shooting. Other than that. I, I can't complain. Caicedo was, was his money's worth. All these guys with their money worth. Silva did fine. I I, I, I liked how Silva played. You can see you can see the goodness of Silva. Uh, Gusto was amazing. I mean, he put. I I rate I Saka and Martinelli to me as a combination Very is good. like is the one of the like I've never I can't remember the time I've seen two young wingers on one team that strike so much fear. And me. Rodrigo Vinicius Jr. We they they lock that shit yeah. down. Cucurella had Saka so frustrated he yeah. couldn't do anything. He was in his 
fucking Cucurella had a good game. Yeah, you know what the shoe horn is? Yeah. You know how you oh, put the shoe when you can't put your foot in the shoe? You yep. put that little shit. That's how he was like a shoehorn on fucking soccer, bro. He could not, he was on his back heel all game, all night. He couldn't his speed like this is the Cucurella that we paid 60, 60 million yep. for. That yeah. he was fucking amazing. That's and and I, and, this, and I'm sorry. Because I'm shameless, I got to do this. What has Lewis Hall did since? Huh? huh? This is an ear cup. Has he even fucking played? Uh, he made a cameo appearance for like two minutes. He played in midfield, I think, yeah. <laughs> that's that's, why, midfield versus well, that's, why, that's why you let the professionals do what they do. Because Kukurea is... At, at Hall, never in his life, could do what the fuck Kukurea did to Saka yesterday. Never. In his life, not on his best day. I stand by what I said about Hall last season, but he left and I was fine with it. I didn't cry about it. Right. Kukurea was the man yesterday. Yeah. Up that, I knew you were going to pop that's up. The best, I'd argue that's the best left back performance we've seen this season. Actually, yeah. not even argue, that's the best yeah, left back. Not performance close. This it's, not, it's not even close. He was fucking amazing. He was amazing. Also, I, and just something, and because just I got to bring up just because again, because similar to Jimmy, just because I've got to. Hey, Ziad, come, come on stream, bro. I'll be on your neck. Come on stream, brother. I'll be on oh, your no. neck. Hey, yo, I remember. I'll be on your <laughs> neck. You should have yeah. warned him. You should have just let him come and talk that shit. Try to, try to bring up Gusto so we can cook him about Sanchez. Oh, don't, don't bring up no don't fucking Gusto. Yeah, did you not see you me in the group chat? Hey, as soon as it happened in the group chat, I acted him. No, I acted him straight away. Straight away in the group chat. I was there. I said this early dog. I said, I looked at Sanchez, brother. I said... I don't know about this man. I don't know. Everyone's like, yeah, man, he didn't do anything wrong. And I just look at it, this brother thinking, no, nah, this guy looks hella shaky to me, yeah? And I'm thinking, is this guy even an upgrade on Kepa? I, I was looking at this guy, yeah? He's better than Kepa to me, though. But he's still not what we need. No, he's I'm not sorry. what we I'm need. Sorry. He's, he's, sorry. he's better than Kepa. I'm going to be honest. Not, I'm, because I'm, at least he'll, he'll come out and get across. Kepa's not doing that. Oh, what I'm the saying, far isn't, the far I'm saying, isn't I was ridiculed. The far I was ridiculed hell. early doors for, for, for questioning Sanchez. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, you got you got answer to your crimes. Go, going back to someone actually good though. Um, like I've I've been on this, like I'm on the <laughs> Kukurea, I'm I'm the, the lead organizer of the Kukure Redemption Tour. I've been there. We stayed on that train. <laughs> choo choo, the train's still going, bro. It's it's going back. I it, said it, it I, forward I, a little bit. It thought it might come off the tracks a little bit, but we're still going, it's still going strong. I like no, Jimmy, and Jimmy I was going back past the same I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing Jimmy did earlier. Our second best performance this season from a left back was from a centre back. Where's Chilwell? What's he doing? Did you, could you can you imagine Chilwell against uh, Saka? Oh, oh no, 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 Hell no. Um, Yo, to yeah. be honest, I don't I don't care if I don't see Chilwell back for the rest of the year. Hey, it, like we don't need him. We got someone better. Like, and this is the thing, and I've always I've always believed in Kukre because yes, he can be rash, but that just comes from how aggressive he is. And you just we just needed someone who could harness that aggression and and show him where the line was. Like oh. where he's not he's not going too far and he's not being too rash. And the one of the things I like most about Kukre, and I saw this a few times. Is there are times where he gets the ball and he just fizzes a pass between two players, like initiates right. attacks straight right. away, like right. it never leaves the ground. Great and passes. it's like I love those there passes. are like that you you're gonna get at least a, like another thir a third more attacks than you would normally get just from that shit, just from your left back or right back, and we have it with Gusto as well. Then picking the ball up and just fizzing the ball into midfield because they can initiate attacks that way and you create space. We Lewis. never see that from Chilwell. We saw it a little bit from Colwell, but a lot of his stuff is like long ball stuff. But with Kukurea, it's on the ground, fizzed on into a player. And it's there's a couple of times where it doesn't come off. Like there was a couple of moments where it didn't come off, but it's never in areas where in the game yesterday where it was going to be threatening. Well, and it was always, he was always ready to recover. And it was like, and even this though he made a mistake, he then did it again later and, and connected with it. And it's like, he's... <laughs> <laughs> He's mad. Big up, Lewis. Yo, Lewis. That picture is unreal, bro. Nah, I, when, when, when Mudrik scored, <laughs> Mudrik was literally <laughs> right in front of Fatur. Like, yeah. you could see Fatur screaming, like, <laughs> we had so much coming out of that game. I wish we just fucking won. So it. much smoke. Can you hear me? 
Lewis. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you, Rodrigo. What's your thoughts yeah. on the game, brother? Bro, uh, like, obviously, I agree with everything, what everyone said on the panel. I, I, I couldn't believe it, man. Sanchez, <laughs> fuck! Fuck! You know what? Because, you know the reason why I'm so pissed here? Because I was waiting for this game so bad, because I wanted to ask Scott about his opinion on Poch, because I knew if we beat Arsenal, the mood is going to be good. It's going to be like, okay, give him more, give him five more games. But now I can't even I can't even ask him like so Scott what do you think of Poch? Oh Poch like I've got no complaints with Poch yesterday. Poch oh, coached yeah, an incredible yeah. game. Yeah. Like, yeah. He, he coached an incredible game. The the game plan that he had, I know Jimmy mentioned earlier, like that four four two the box midfield oh. where it's like you Beautiful. just had you, had you had Mudrick and Sterling as wide as they could be pretty much. By the way, I just want to say Mudrick defensively yesterday, I know it gets overlooked and it gets laughed at sometimes when you think defensively. I know Jimmy mentioned it for Nonny, but like Mudrick defensively, you can see he's learning. He's taking stuff on because he wasn't doing that <laughs> last season or early on in this season. He's learning. And like, I, yeah. I respect that. The fact you're going in training and learning that stuff. Yeah, he's not that, turning that on. good mentality. Yeah. He's, 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 he's walking around just expecting everyone but, else to do the job. Yeah, he's keeping that he's, same energy defensively. That was my problem with him. Like when he's offensive, he come with this bolt of lightning. But when he's defensive, he's like, ah, oh, just little laissez-faire with it. I don't like that. Keep that same energy. I need that yeah, same like, energy. That like, posture he, was incredible because Jimmy mentioned it earlier where it's like, and it was brought up on commentary where like last uh, against the game against City, Gabriel and Saliba had Haaland where like they knew where he was going to be. They they had someone there to be. They, they, had, like, they, had no, they had no one around them. So they had no idea like where to be. They didn't know where to lost. step up. They didn't know where to drop. Scott, if you look back, they were literally looking at each other and pointing yeah. like you, you, they were fucking confused. They had no idea where to be because the thing is as well, it wasn't just like Gall no, sorry, uh, Palmer was the one playing like, striker quote unquote where like he was always one getting forward there were times Gallagher was getting ahead of him it was like yeah, it it was like, like, a pivot, like a double pit where it's like one one would drop a little bit one and it was and, it was and it was fair play to Poch like he I've got no complaints with how Poch like did as I said the oh, subs fair, had no problem with I've got no problem with how he coached that game it was incredible and like you can see yeah. he has a good Amazing. result like, sorry a good record against Arsenal you can kind of see why and like against these types of teams that are going to come out a little bit the, if he's going to coach like this I've got no problems the the games against you, teams play low block. Um, do you different think, story, uh, but... in terms of performance, here, yeah, I, I still think the Liverpool. I think Liverpool give us more problems than Arsenal. I think Arsenal overrated. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely gave us more problems. By far, yeah, by yeah, far. But I think Liv I think we Liverpool had this on on dust for the first Lewis, twenty minutes. Turn Rodrigo mic up. We're gonna lose our five. Yeah, yeah. Turn, yeah. yeah. turn his mic up a little yeah. bit. Yeah, uh, uh, Arsenal. I don't know, man. If this is this is this is Arsenal, yeah, with pretty much everyone apart from party. And yeah, they only had one nine starter. And, and keep yeah. in mind, let's yeah. be honest. This is like our third team. Like we don't yeah. even like. You know what I mean? Fuck, yeah. fuck yeah. our A team. This is like our C team. No, the so, only. Wait, Jimmy, the only people that the only, um, <laughs> components that we had in our team that you could say, okay, that's maybe our first team was Enzo and Casado, and they really bossed that midfield. <laughs> so, <laughs> good. so imagine we had that. Cole, Cole and, Palmer. You know, oh, he's, 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 Cole Palmer. Yeah. He, he's, he's the amazing. number one. He's I don't care where he plays, whether it's on the left in the 10 or on the he's right, he's the right. number one starter in that attack right now. Yeah, I, I the think number one underrated him. I never I was always a fan I, of you guys getting Paul him. Palmer. I wanted mm -hmm. him at Newcastle. I would have taken him at Newcastle. I told you guys what I thought about him when you got him. I said the guy has a has some sort of killer instinct about him. I like the way he shoots the ball. He, he's very confident striker of the ball. I like mm. the fact that he when he when he's carrying the ball, he don't care who's chasing him. You know, he just goes, bro. He goes, mm -hmm. makes decisions. But like Steve as well. Player, like, man. I, I keep bringing this up and I'll keep bringing this up. This is a guy who's played under Pep. He He's played exactly. with some of the best players in the league yeah. like exactly. in training and in games. Like he's played under Pep. The best manager I've arguably I've seen in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't play like, bombs. Rarely. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, Rarely and he, he was, plays. he played. Yeah. Especially this season before he came to us, he was trusted in games that they won Good where they needed player, something. Player, he was up trusted. Up they needed, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and like, you, you know, know what people see, want to try? Oh, he didn't have GNA as if that fucking means anything. He played <laughs> in critical mm -hmm. games. He played. Exactly. And like you yeah. can see that I love, he, you I can love, see that he is so much further. Like, how old is he? Like 20, 21? Mm -hmm. He's 20. Like 20. 20. Like he you can see he's so much further in terms of the way he plays compared to his age. Like he, he looked, plays he like the ball of Sterling. I thought that was ballsy. He took the ball of Sterling. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I watched it over. Sterling. Oh. 
was trying to give yeah. the ball to Enzo. And Enzo said, no, give it to him. Watch oh. it again. Yeah. Sterling <laughs> took the ball and said, no, 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 Enzo. And Cole Palmer was like, no, me. And then Enzo was like, no, him. Watch it again. Uh, yeah. Uh, it wasn't for himself. Sterling uh, was trying to give the ball to Enzo. Yeah, he, he plays, he plays like so he plays so much older than he actually He's very is. Very confident. Very <laughs> confident. <laughs> Sterling out of all, all of those uh, people are is the most senior. See? And look how yeah, Enzo yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He's, He's gonna, gonna, gonna give it to Enzo. He's yeah, gonna yeah. give it to Enzo. Yeah, oh, Enzo like that. Him, 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 yes. him. Yeah. See, you see him looking at Enzo? Like, yo, yeah, take yeah, 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 I see it. Yeah, look, yeah, yeah. Put it in his yeah. left hand to give it to him. And he like, no. Enzo like, nope, I ain't fuck. I, I ain't bottling this one. I bottled this one. <laughs> also, also, another, also another incident of Enzo being a quality captain or captain material. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I like it. Because he I'm doesn't speak English. It's a bit long question mark on um, or Gallagher's captaincy skills. Do, do you know all this time, yeah, I give one. you... Oh, sorry, sorry. I give you guys, I give you guys the, your props in it because everyone keep cr keep crying. Why are you playing Gallagher in the pivot? Why are you playing Gallagher in the pivot instead of playing further fault? Look mm -hmm. what happened since he, since literally from the Fulham game yeah, mm -hmm. when when Posh decided to stop fucking around, pull Gallagher further fault. Look, look at the difference in our performance. Amazing, mm -hmm. amazing. Oh, oh, amazing. amazing. Oh, and, 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 and I mentioned this on the stream last night about that as well. We all questioned about that. I said, why are you playing Gallagher? Gallagher's yeah. trash. There, there, there. And you know what? Andrew. Like he, he he done his thing. So we had Andrew, Andrew, on the, Andrew mentioned this on the stream last night as well that we were on. The thing with that Poch has done that I rate with Gallagher and what he did yesterday, he simplified his game. He's not asking him to do complicated shit. Like, this is what I wanted to see when for Mount. And he was doing this the first season when he was playing. Like, do the simple shit right and the rest will come. If you can do the simple stuff right, eventually the more complicated stuff will come with time and reps. Get exactly. the simple shit down first. And that's what Gallagher's done so far, especially playing at 10. It's not yeah. complicated shit. He's not trying to hit 60-yard passes. He's exactly. not trying to hit Travella <laughs> shots and, and all this stupid shit. No, he's doing simple stuff, quick quick give and goes here and there, pressing well. His pressing looks a lot more right. composed now. It's not just a dog running after a ball. Like, it's all composed. Yes, not it makes sense. Great mm -hmm. tackle. Aggressive. It, like, he... I'm gonna be real, and and people are gonna think this is blasphemy. Yesterday he was tackling like Caicedo, bro. Those yeah. tackles were aggressive, but everything was to the ball. No leg, no foot. Aggressive to the ball, and it looked like he's learning. That I don't know if y'all know when Caicedo gets a tackle, he puts a little push with it. I don't know if y'all ever see that. He put a light. He puts a slight push when he tackles you. When he gets the I ball. See it. Push him. That's why it, with Jimmy, that's why it looks so emphatic when he wins yeah, the ball. He wins the ball first and then he pushes you. You have no chance of winning the ball back after that. Gallagher is doing that shit now and it's beautiful. It's beautiful when you're doing it in their first phase because you win that ball back and you right back on top of him. Right back on top. As well, is Gurriel's mentioned it because he's because he's playing further up, he's not holding the ball in areas you don't want him holding the ball. He is allowed to make he's able to make quicker passes. Yeah, like exactly. you're not asking him to pick the ball up like halfway between the center circle and our box on yeah. the half turn where he's going to have pl a player pressing him and he's not used to that you're getting him to pick the ball up in areas he's used to where he's Fine. like facing their goal or at the very least if he's got his back to their goal it's in space so he's got time to turn so, he, so if he got to take his two touches he good yeah the last few games he hasn't even been touching the ball he's he's, oh, that's he yeah, I know. Yesterday, one touch turn gone <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it, it, it's almost like he's learning. Who knew? Do you know, what do you know what? A, a few things. Have, a few people have learned with regards to this Gallagher and also Thiago Silva is just one, two touch, release the ball, release the ball, mm -hmm. release the ball. Before, remember we used to have like Jorginho. We used to have these man. They used to hold it to the ball, ten touches. I, I still you know, think Thiago Silva. And then, and then everyone play. gets reset. No problem. And a lot of our attacks, if you remember, this is before. Remember where we did the preview. Um, on list of like I think on Friday or something yeah, where we right. said okay we have to hit them on quick transitions don't wait for them to reset bang 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 two touch get it was a, it I was a few times Silver did stop it but overall he was okay yeah no I'd exactly. say though Jimmy I'd say I'd say for games against the games against Arsenal or these type of teams you can do that it's the games against teams that are going to sit back that you can't yeah, do that because then you need it to be quick and I said this yesterday I'm still of the mindset that Silva should not be playing every game and there should be games he's rotating Agreed. out. But Agreed. What, I'm no what I noticed from the game yesterday is 
when it comes to silver, it should be now a game by game basis based on who we're playing. If we're playing a Spurs, if we're playing a City, if we're playing Arsenal, he should play. If we're I, playing a Wolves, if we're playing a Bournemouth, if we're playing uh, Brentford, for example, drop him because you don't need him because they were speed, yeah. you should be solid enough with Disassi and Colwell. We've seen better than what we saw yesterday. So you could be defensively solid and you, they will be quicker in the passing so they can break the low block down. Oh, wait, but it's like Scott, teams like Arsenal you... that are going to step up a little bit are going to give you a bit of space. Silver makes perfect sense yeah. because he can hold the ball on a little bit, get a player to come towards him, similar to what Brighton were doing um, under De Zerbi. get a player to come towards him, it creates space for another player and then you give and go there. So I'm like, not, not necessarily play... getting sporties, but the teams that press you high up so you can hold, yeah. hold the ball, create spaces, release it, then you've got open it. Look, I agree. I think with our team, I think even though we disappointed the fan yesterday, I think we, the team has learned a lot of lessons. When you're 2-0 down, how to manage the game when you're 2-0 down. Yeah. But you are on top because you're not going to be... In the game, there's always like swathes of momentum. There's times where you're going to get opportunities. There's times where you might have to sit back and defend. But when there's when you have the opportunity, like we had with, I think, of Cole Palmer and he was one-on-one with Raya and Jackson in, on the other side. Yeah, you have to be a bit better oh, yeah, 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 let's talk about that. You have to be oh, better with oh, the Palmer, that's, the, that's the only thing. Uh, two times. Yeah. When when Gallagher won the ball, when they won the ball up top, he made bad decisions. In the final third, where he would like, yeah, kind of, the one where he, he shot, the, the oh. one where the keeper got the ball off his foot, that one I'm not gonna kill him for because a lot of times keepers miss and fucking most times right there you get a penalty, more times than not. So I don't blame him or Jackson for actually going at the keeper like that because most of the time the keepers panic and they foul you. But that the one time when Palmer went when, when uh Galadog won the ball back, Palmer got it, he shot that way too quick. He still he could attack and make the keeper come out and laid the ball off to Sterling. Yeah, yeah. He 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 um uh Cole Palmer. He should have that was the only time that I could complain about him right there. I'm not mad about the one where the keeper dove and got the ball off his foot because a lot of times keepers not I would say seven times out of ten on those, the keeper usually fuck up and, and foul you. So I, 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 I that was a mistake. As much as I love Nick Pope, and that's you just take one touch and think. Screwed up a bit there. Yeah, Jackson should have uh, chipped. Jackson should have chipped. Right. Uh, he just stopped yeah, and over for everything. Just run. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at the replay, that was really his only shot. So that's what he should have did was chip him. If you miss, you miss, but you should have chipped him. Right also, there. I think somebody from the midfield, I don't know how close the next mid person in our team was. They should have been sprinting into that box, laid it off, tapped it yeah, in. We, 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 lack, up. we still lack that. We still lack somebody attacking the box from the midfield. We still lack that. And I'm. Enzo ends up in such great position to score. He just cannot fucking shoot. Oh, this guy can't. Four many goals. Wait, there was a lot of goals. Did you, did you goals see that? In the, the first half, he took three, two, three touches. I can't, I can't remember, but I think it was like center of the box, and it was like they threw it into Sterling. He had a couple. He took an extra two, three touches where he actually should have hit it first time and could have got it on goal. I think. I have to replay it, but I'll, I'll come back. I know, to you, I, I know it's what you're talking about. I said the same thing, but I think when I look back at the replay, it was like the, the ball was so close to his foot that if he would have got a hit, it would have been a soft shot. It just would have been one of those that floated up. You know what I mean? Thank it was no, it was no space to get a good strike on it. That's why he was Thank trying you. to tap, 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 tap. Jimmy Epp and Fika. I don't remember Enzo scoring a lot of goals. I'm looking at the stats. He scored one. No, it's not even about scoring them. It's yeah. about putting them shits on tart. Like, striking yeah. aggressive to where the keeper has to. Goalkeeper. Test yeah. Him. Yeah, I don't want him to, to hit it, put it top bins. But just as a footballer in an, in an attacking position, you got to strike that ball, man. Yeah. He tries to place on, everything. On your point, Jimmy, about the goals from midfield or getting someone attacking the box, I think that's what we're hoping either Gallagher can do a bit more of Palmer if he plays in the 10 can do, or... What Nkunku will do when he comes back. When he oh, plays yeah, you know he'll do it. You I think at the do. moment we're relying on Enzo to do that because we don't really have anyone else to do that. And then it highlights kind of one of his weaknesses a bit too much. Whereas like, if Nkunku's back and he's doing that, I think Enzo's relying a lot less reliant on we're a lot less reliant on Enzo to do that because we can have Nkunku doing that more. Wait, and then Scott, you start the was... Enzo's like um kind of benefit like his his like strengths, that's the word. Um, mm. a lot more. Rather than having him shoot more, which he can't do. Wait, Scott, on that, just a quick question. 
is it all of our midfielders aren't they equipped to when you're in a goal scorer position to just shoot because with Declan Rice he shot it he didn't just say oh you know what this is not my job let's just pass it to Odegaard let's pass it's just hit I think it depends because like it depends on the situation, right? Because the thing with the Rice goal is, like, that was just a nice taking goal in terms of he hits that first time. We've seen Enzo do that. We saw Enzo do a goal, not yeah. like that, but we've seen him hit the one in the World Cup where it's like he just, yeah. bro, that's like the one time I've seen him hit a ball that cleanly where he just smashed it. I think it was top bins in the World Cup. And it was like, yeah, we haven't really seen that. him do that since. And it's like, yeah. with Rice, we don't see him do that too much. Obviously, he got the goal against um, yeah. the United, but that was kind of a, a stuffed goal. It was like in the box. In those oh, situations, God, you kind of right. want your midfield to try and, Try and get that on target, but I think it depends on the situation. Like the one against um, the one that I wanted him to hit the target on was the first, the one in like the first few minutes where like Gallagher has the shot, he gets deflected, it comes back to Enzo, and he's on the edge of the box. Those are the type of ones I want him to try and hit the the the. Um, I like the fifth or something somewhere around there. Like, yeah, the ones on the edge of the box, like I want you to try and get on target. The ones like there, there's other ones I'm not too too bothered about. Like yeah. again, like yeah. I think. We as a fan, as fans, and this is football fans in general, have become desensitized when it comes to midfielders in terms of goals. We see what Bruno does, we see what Lampard's done, De Bruyne has done, and we think every goal, uh, midfielder needs to get twenty goals in a season. It just doesn't. It doesn't work like that. It never has worked yeah. like that. Those, those guys are I mean, like, like I say, De Bruyne and, and Lampard are like freaks of nature when it comes to that. When it comes to scoring goals at that level, Bruno's penalty merchant is shit anyway. Like all those goals mean nothing because he's shit and he doesn't mm -hmm. turn up. In the big moments, but like how yeah. many goals do you really see Erdegaard get? Like he gets a few across the season, 15, but no one's talking about his goals year. when it comes to yeah, Arsenal. yeah, fifteen. Like, but let's be honest, Odegaard this season has been shit, and he's yeah. gonna have GNA, but he disappears, bro. I, yeah. Odegaard yesterday, yo, Caicedo must have said boo, because that <laughs> motherfucker was scared. he. I don't know where he was yesterday. He was scared of Caicedo. Was a couple wide yeah. shots from him, and that he was scared of Caicedo. He was running from Caicedo. I don't care what nobody say. He was running from fucking Caicedo. Yo, Caicedo, his tackles are flagrant. Like, his, his fucking tackles are... Yo, Caicedo's a different... He's a different... I'm mm. I'm glad we got him. That's all I can say. I'm glad yeah, we got yeah, him. Yeah, yeah I'm glad well, we got well, him. Bellingham, Bellingham is another one. But yeah, it, the thing with Bellingham like is him. he plays in a system... He plays in a system where in, often in times he's getting into striker positions. So you expect him to score. Whereas he like Enzo, the tip of a diamond, and yeah. uh, I, I don't, I don't know about expect him to score the way he's scoring. He's scoring like a striker. Yeah, but he, no, but that's what I'm saying. He's scoring tap-ins, but he's what I mean, Jim is he's getting in areas where you are like. No, what I mean, well in the that way. Like, I mean, like, like the tip of the diamond. Rodrigo and Vinicius will do the dribbling and then cut back, and Bellingham is usually a lot. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, like if he was playing deeper, if, 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 he, if he was playing deeper, I don't think he scores as many as he as he has done so. Oh no, no, he gets in the box and get, he gets yeah. nasty. Yeah, he, he's not afraid that's to get in the box. Yeah. He's a yeah. really good goal scorer. He doesn't yeah. score outside Plus, of the box. Yeah. Like if, if, if we had Enzo, oh if we had Enzo getting in the box consistently, like in those positions, then yeah, I'd expect him to score more. But like we're we're not getting Enzo in those positions. We shouldn't be asking him to get in those positions because that's not what he does. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing with the I, And to someone mentioned, I want him to get goals, but like we're acting like he, if he doesn't score every game, that's a failure. And that's right. not it. It's like it doesn't have to be that. I want it like if he finishes the, the season with like five goals and like double digit assists, calm. Like yeah, I just I just need like I need three to five goals from Enzo. Three, I don't even need a bunch. Three to five. Let's start with getting the shots on target. <laughs> let's yeah, let's just that's start that, with that. That's the, yeah, it can't it can't go in if it ain't in between the motherfucking exactly. uh, the square, the big giant, the big uh, the big rectangle out there. Yeah, yeah, gotta get it in the rectangle out there, Enzo. But you know what? I think that's going to come with experience and over the years. I I think once he masters that midfield, I think he's going to just master as well that shooting technique and when he's in good scoring positions instead of just laying it off just hitting it and and scoring yeah. i think yeah, yeah with Rodri in in man city uh, um facts. price with um with arsenal and i think that if enzo could just develop that that you know is it's, nope. it's, it's an added bonus for us you know but, one thing that can also help with enzo if you have more powerful crosses remember sometimes with goals you don't need to generate the power off your shot. It's all about if a cross comes in with some wicked power, and that's what how, you need to do is guide it. Yeah, the I mean, way how he places shots, that's what he needs. He needs a pass to be kind of, you know, 
powerful. Yeah, but most of the yeah. positions, but most of the times when he gets into those shooting positions, it's mainly off of like a layoff of like a, or like a one two. Oh yeah, we know. Necessarily off of a cross. Oh, we we we, yeah. we know how he get there. Yeah, but if, yeah. if that was those same position, imagine if that was like Sabin slide, nigga. Those are goals. Facts. Wow. Facts. Yeah. Those yeah. are goals. Facts. Yep. If they ain't goals, they somebody get knocked out. <laughs> a powerful, powerful shot. Yeah. yeah. You know what I, mean? I tell you what, ain't no defender jumping in doing that shit. Now they jumping. I know I will. They get yeah. knocked the fuck out if they do. They get knocked the fuck out by some bitch like shot. I watched two of his shots yesterday. I was like, God damn, this dude don't play. Two shots he put on goal yesterday. He don't it's play. Like he needs the power. The power to take him. I don't want to watch football. It's it's, it's clear. It's all in the lands in the United. To be yeah. honest, after twenty four hours, I I feel good about like I got like confidence back in Potch because remember I was putting he was on pre fraud watch with me. Yeah. Oh, so like, Jimmy, we were on that boat together, man. Yeah. So like to watch him four games in a row, unbeaten, the tactics change. It, nothing. He, he didn't put a foot this, wrong. This is awesome. The only thing I will say, that's it. This isn't. This isn't me trying to be negative. Yeah. It's me saying like, he wasn't Arsenal. It wouldn't even hurt as much. It's yeah. the fact that these dickheads. You, you know what? I woke up to this morning a fucking picture of, uh, like a gazillion empty bottles. That's what my friend sent me. Like a, I, and I'm it's looking at it like. Fan. Yeah, I'm like, what the that fuck is why he has all those balls? Okay. And it was about, and I said, oh, you must have took these out of the fucking Arsenal cabinet from last year. And he was like, touche, touche. I'm like, yeah, get the fuck <laughs> off my. Get <laughs> out of my <laughs> old Don't talk to me about no bottling, <laughs> yo. Get the fuck out of here, y'all about to leave. Like, look, when it comes to this pot, um, I gave him Rover. I don't think you guys Rover. I gave him until Brighton, and I said, listen, I want to win this League Cup game. So yeah. if you win this game, it's over. And he won that game, and I gave him the grace. I said, you know what? You won this game. This is an important game. You did it. Just rotate the whole team and sack it in. Because if he did that, Watch your hand. Yeah. But he, he he won that game. Then he won the next game. Then he won the next game. So I, I'm going to give him more time. This is before the Arsenal yeah. game. Why will say? Yeah, I didn't give him until Arsenal. Because if we were out the League Cup, and these players haven't got used to winning trophies, um, and used to that, that winning success, and they're young players as well, what we're we gonna do? What? Just focus on the league. They were gonna be what a top four team like Arsenal was back in from 04 to about 16, 17. Top four success, success, because that's what they looked at it as. Mm -hmm. So um, with Poch, hopefully, and and this team's playing well. Hopefully, it improves. And if we play like we did against mm -hmm. Arsenal, we improve just you know just marginally. I think we could go on a very good run. We could. We could Brentford. Even with these fixtures and games, we could go on and yeah. go yeah, 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 yeah. Why we should sure. these man? They should be shook of us. We're an unknown quantity. Yeah. Like, why are we looking That's what at I've been saying. Oh, oh, Brentford. And oh, Brentford. Oh, 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 we're the they're not gonna take us serious I, they're not gonna take us seriously this is gonna this feels like a trap game and what i want to make sure happens this week still is there is no revisionism from these arsenal fans because they came into this game acting like they were gonna beat us three nothing Yep. They were gonna beat us three nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I want to know where that energy is now. Where is that energy? They were confident, just like the when they went away to Spurs. Now they're mocking us because their worst game. And, and then, yeah, you, so you, worst you, game. hold on, Joey. When Even you know that's been out, multiple games now. And when no, you point out right oh. how how we how we. Actually spanked that ass, Paul. We played worse against. Talk about oh, you celebrating the draw. We're not celebrating the draw. We're pissed off. But we're showing yeah. you that your team ain't what the fuck y'all thought it was. They mm -hmm. not. And no, I that's just also fans. I said it from the beginning of the season. I'm not afraid it's of Arsenal. Jimmy, I think. I, told I, think, you I, think, I, mentioned, I think some Arsenal fans have, have been in this mindset well of like because I was going to say this for the game against Brentford, like. We need to take the anger that this team has, and they should be angry at the result yesterday. Take the anger and take out on Brentford. Smash them 4-0. Yeah. Don't give them a yeah. chance. That's because if we go against Brentford and perform like we did against Forest, it means nothing. This nothing game means nothing. This, this game means nothing. All, all, that shows me, all that shows me is this is the same mentality from the last two, three seasons where it's like... And we still got players to win now. 
Mm. No, you can get up for the derby game or you can get up for the big game when stuff's on the line, when it's a cup final. You can get up for that. But the game against, no offence, like Brentford, where it doesn't mean nothing, like, if you can't get up for that game, no, then you're, then, then, then my yeah, family's fuck all. Yeah. You're going to get up for, like, the five big games a season we have. What about the other 31 games or 33 games? What about those games? If you're not going to get up for those, it means nothing. So take that anger and take it into Brentford. And a lot of Arsenal, or some Arsenal fans are now going about that City game. That means nothing because we just went to Chelsea and we played like shit. Like, so that, that City game, I mean, so you can get up for that City game, but you can't get up for, for this game against Chelsea. Not to toot my own horn here about Newcastle, but like we have Crystal Palace yesterday. Oh, wow. That is, that is true. Just as, just as they didn't say we would beat no. Arsenal's they ass. Everybody, everybody said he was delusional. <laughs> hey, uh, Lewis, so in fact, let, just before you go, I'm going to go through the rest of these super chats. But he didn't say it in a practical manner. He it don't matter how he said it, bro. Yeah, what, he, what he said what happened pretty much happened for 85 minutes, man. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's just just right. before we go, just before we go, like, so there's been a few guys waiting. Emmanuel Drip says, Emmy Martinez was available. Why get this bum? It is still a bit too early to say that. That's Crispy ridiculous. says, if you blame Gusto for Trossard, Gallagher has to take some. He no, he doesn't. No, we don't have to blame Gallagher. No, we have to give him Gallagher. Played well. Finishing um, and mentality was trash. Um, Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Bill mm. says, could take a guess. Most his panel didn't rate Rice a lot long ago and had to hold it. Gallagher will keep starting. Brilliant all season. Huh? Hold it. Had to well, hold what? what? Rice's ass. What's he talking about? Rice was shit. Rice was ass. No, no, no. I remember Jill no. He used to scoop a chat on his mount agenda a few months ago. So I think he's got a whole wide. There were, there were three, has never lost there were right. three 100 million pound midfielders on the football pitch, and Rice was the worst of the three. Yeah, with three one, the three games. player was better. Seven games. The one with we Diego made has never lost with his goal in seven yeah. games, and that's with his goal. He was still uh, game. Rigo says the four four two on defense frustrated them. Cuckoo was money, except for the sack across to Trossard. Palmer best signing. The dog was money. You just knew it was too good to be true, and some shit would happen. Hey, Cucurella had nothing to do with Saka's cross. What are you talking about? Cucurella was nowhere near that. Like, yeah, like, why do yeah, you I, think I, don't I don't get that. I don't get that. Even trying to sell is more nonny, if anything. And they're both wrong. Nonny. It's Gusto. It's Gusto. Gusto yeah. fucked up. Hey, uh, hey, Lewis. Hey, Lewis, how are you doing, man? Donation. Thank you to everyone who's donated. And um, yeah. Carlito, what are you saying, brother? So. Yeah, I thought we were so good yesterday. I was yeah. extremely pleased. Like, look, everybody's pissed that we tied. I get it. And I was, I mean, I was talking to you last night about this, you know, about fan standards and about the fact Wait, that, that you're, that you're that angry. That... Split it, Jimmy. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pause, 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 pause on that. Okay, sorry. What? Okay. Yeah, it's like you and I were talking about fan standards last night and how everybody is furious that we tied. I get it. But at the same time, I just wanted to see that we could do this. Like I was looking at Mikel, and I was looking at Arsenal, and for 80 of those minutes, they were fucking Terrible. shook. They Terrible. were shook. Not just bad, they were shook. Yeah. And I, I, I was just extremely impressed. I was proud of Gallagher. I'm not a Gallagher fan, but he was excellent. A yeah. lot of people shit on Kukurel. He was excellent. Yeah. Levi Colwell, young guy. He was good. And no doubt, the player, the signing of the season, Cole Palmer, a guy that during the Community Shield, I said, is a horrible player. Well, look how much of an idiot I am because he's fucking dope. He is so good. And I'm just I'm proud of the team. Uh, Jimmy, Lewis, Scott, you guys, I'm just proud of the team. And I know that everybody's mad that we should have won because, of course, we should have won. We're, we were better. And guess what? I think that we're better in general than they are. I like our players more. But we didn't get it done. I understand. And everybody's mad. And Sanchez fucked up. He knows he fucked up. But at the end of the day, you guys have to be proud of the game that we played because I thought that they were excellent. And that's supposed to be what? The best team in the I'm world. Team Troops team is team. going this and that. Oh, best team in the world. Fuck off, dickhead. Yeah. They are I'm happy with the way that we played. I don't think anybody is. And it's just like we said, both sides are, have points. We can be happy yeah. about the way we played yeah. and acknowledge like the fact like that we fucked it. Both yeah, keepers we're not is out there trying to fucking prove who's the shittiest keeper. I swear to God. Jimmy, did you see what I said in the Ryer group? Ryer is a bag of piss, by the way. He is Yeah, these fucking he dudes. Yeah. These I mean, Spanish goalkeepers. Jimmy, Jimmy, he, he oh, tried yeah. to cheat. He tried to cheat that Mudrick cross, and he got smoked for it. What are you doing? It was, it was, it was, it was, it was a cross. 
But I don't give a fuck. It went in the back of the deck. He tried to cheat. A, he tried to cheat across. He tried to get <laughs> you know, it, it looked it, it looked kind of fluky. But Yo, out of when, he, goal I, goal. He, when I when I thought he did it on purpose, I was Bro, losing my mind. Then I saw the replay. I was like, he wasn't even looking at the goal. He was looking at that Sterling. Like, nah, he was looking at the keeper. He was looking at the keeper. I think he was the last person to realize it went in. <laughs> yeah, Butch was the last person. He was still looking at Sterling, like, oh shit, wait, what? Fuck it. It went in. <laughs> I just have to celebrate in front of the bridge, though. Because they've been showing him a lot of love, you know what I mean? They've been showing him, giving him standing ovations and shit. So I'm happy he was able to do that and get some build up his confidence. Like, we need Mujik cooking. Mujik cooking is a problem. Like, if he could be what his potential should, oh my gosh. With a striker, with a real number nine, it's come on, bro. Got a lot of good attributes for sure. For yeah, a lot of problem. good things to come out of this game. A lot of good things to come out of this game. Yeah, uh, you, I mean, it's, just, it's a big learning curve. It's a big he's not gonna be goal, goal of the month for a cross that went in, fellas. I'm sorry, I'm not voting goal of the month. <laughs> he said, "Give it to the penalty instead." <laughs> it, was it was beautiful, though. I love it. That shit was. You know what? Like, I don't know. Nah, end up being I'll, Jackson. I'll really to boost his confidence. Yeah, I Jackson. Like, Jackson's goal was fucking goes. amazing. And that's the thing. You? Players don't care if they meant it or not. Scoring yeah, that's true. Then, bro. Back in the net, they don't care, and your brain don't care. Yeah. Because your says, "I scored a goal, and I've been struggling to, so I did it. I overcame the hurdle." And then you also yesterday on your team, Jimmy. When they talk about he meant it. He mean that shit. He, he but the celebration. He meant every part of that celebration. I love that part. <laughs> exactly. It's like it's it's one of the things where it's like once a player gets informed, Jimmy. I said this yesterday on your stream. It's like when basketball players, when they're on a hot streak, the rim looks smaller to them compared to it looks bigger. When yeah. They're not, when they're not shooting, when they're not scoring, or a baseball player, if they're not hitting home runs or whatever, the ball looks smaller and the ball looks bigger if you're in in the game or out of it. So it's like. When you get what so for Mudra gets like that yeah, to give him some confidence to score. Yeah, he scored. He scored his last what three out of four games or something like that. You, as far as club and country, he scored, he scored against. Um, so he he scored against Fulham, I believe. He scored against. He scored in for Ukraine and he scored in this game. So that's yes, three, yeah, three, three out of four. his last four. Yeah, four starts. I don't think four games because he did come on against Burnley. I think he came on. I think he came on against Burnley's, but in this I last four he starts, he scored three goals. He scored a goal. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You're right. Fulham. Yeah, Fulham. That's good. That's what we need. We need his confidence building, man. Yeah. Yeah. Ian Sports interviewed to Arteta. Mudrick has actually come out and revealed that his goalkeeping coach, Tony Jimenez, said that Raya likes to come out and to loop it over him. I thought he's intelligent. Bro, he... I'll run with it. We oh, did man. not shoot the not ball. Gonna, we don't know if it's true, but we don't well, care. Who, who <laughs> shoots the ball but look away? I'm going to look, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look at who I was crossing to. Yeah, we're not going to do look that. Shot. That's my goal. goal. Yeah, that's my goal. It's odd. Really. Goal goal it's odd really. it's odd now, yo, y'all do. If y'all want to mix, if it make your little little pee pee hard and your balls swell up because you think he did it on purpose, go ahead. Okay. No, I'm no, not going to yeah, take yeah. that away. There's no way he did that shit on purpose. I thought he did. Jimmy, 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 I said it when he scored it because I was like, look at three. I'm like, oh, I think he meant that. Okay. Yeah, nobody's no, no. doing a no look. No, no. Shot from that angle. If you look at the replay, you can literally see that it went off of his foot weird. Like, <laughs> like you can see that he tried to cross it, but it Bro, just went off all of I'm the foot saying weird. is he looked at the keeper. He wasn't looking at anybody else. He was looking at the keeper because the keeper was. He didn't look at the keeper. He didn't he look, at... No, he wasn't. He was look. He was trying to cross. He looked across at Sterling. He was trying to cross it, dog. He was, he was looking, looking at the, the, the way that the way he, the, the way he got replay that they show from behind the goal, you can literally see him looking up at Sterling and he crossed that bitch. That's why I say he was the last foot. person to realize it went in the back of the net. Exactly. From it, that, it actually you know makes it more it sense because he wasn't looking. Well. That is, he wasn't, I took a replay of because he wasn't looking down and he was shooting with his weak with his weak foot. So weak it makes foot. That, so it makes sense that it I came off weird. The thing is that. Bro, it was a it. fucking cross. Y'all can stop trying to romanticize the goal. We need I, I, the I, I, goals. I, 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 we yeah. happy it went in, but don't, don't make it more. It, it was a cross. It was a cross. Nah, yeah, facts. If it was I, a goal, you know he would have been, been looking where he placed yeah. it. 
I just looked at the replay. He was waving his hand just before he took the cross. I think it was to Sterling. He was. Of like, course, it was to Sterling. Yeah, lockdown 2020. I remember you scored a very similar. Yes, he did. Saka did a cross, and that that bitch went floating right over what you call a head. Um, I, they claimed um, it with Mendy's head. Yeah, I love it. it. It looks great. I celebrated that bitch. That, that was a beautiful goal. Oh, yeah, exactly, like Zappa Costa's goal. It's a cross for yeah. sure. Because Sterling's at the back post. He's just trying to get it to the back post. Yeah, he's trying yeah. to get it to the back post. Yeah. That was, it was a cross beautiful. that he just fumbled. <laughs> he just it, was fumbled. A, it was a beautiful goal. It was a no-look Rabana. Exactly, David. <laughs> Let's get shameless. Fuck it. No-look Rabana. We did it. <laughs> no-look we'll Rabana. Oh, no. so we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that, yeah. Of course, he's disappointed and upset with his decision, but mistakes happen in football. This goal gave the belief to Arsenal. You can maybe read bad the situation, the tempo, the timing. We can take risks on 77 minutes because it's our philosophy, but maybe there is another decision you can take. It's not to blame someone. It can happen. It will arrive with time. When to be calm and when to take risks. And we are still a really young team getting to know each other. To be honest, I think he's handled that quote pretty well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it, in this circumstances, it's, it's not good to it, for a player like this. Not good to trash them. I don't think it's good, like to cuss them out in front of the media. It's not ideal. Right. Yeah, he's put on his shoulders. He said, "Like these are the risks that we're going to take of our style of play. Maybe he could have made a bad decision, but he'll learn." Basically, so our philosophy yeah, like, for the yeah, like, in the seventy seventh minute. Been, I'm, yeah, I'm not. I'm not mad that he played out the back. It's the, the, the it's the way the pass. It's the execution. You yeah. can't you can't get mad. Um, you can't get mad that he he played the way we played. It was just the oh. execution of it. That's how we play. We play out the I back. Think, I think that's always jump in. in. I'll jump chat. out. Big up to you guys. Hopefully, you got OTC, brother. Everything. You take care. Man. Peace. Bless At least he didn't kick us. Kick us this time. At least it ain't me. Yeah, bro, bro, I, I hate fucking strikers. I hate strikers. I, I like what we do. I like what we do against uh, what we call Arsenal. Cole Palmer, I, I don't know. I think he was also a defender or a midfielder. I know he was up front, but he was also, like, defending. And Woodrick, I think Kukurea, I think Kukurea was doing really well. The reason Kukurea was doing, because Woodrick was defending. Modric had soccer in his pocket. I ain't lying. I, I, I could never imagine Modric being being a good kind of like a left wing back. Lazarus, I think he, he was. was in... well, he was actually helping Cucurella. Yeah, but he's yeah. in Cucurella pocket. Every now and then he'll reach in the pocket and, he was and, and, and put him in his forehead. But it was in Kuka pocket. Trust me. This is a reason. This is a reason. If we need, we need a striker. If we need a striker, we need someone like fucking like uh, Ivan Tony or Oshina. What about Victor Bonner? Otherwise, I don't need anybody. That's the guy. That no, damn well. Like, because I love it. It's so crazy. Bonnie face is, is absolute amazing, but for me, I don't rate uh, strikers at all. Uh, Joe, what's his name, Jimmy? You know, I like don't you. like striker. Okay. Uh, I the reason I like Oshi Man and because Chelsea uh, Chelsea fan base right now want a striker, so I'm gonna follow up with it. But for the top 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 tier game, you don't need a striker. You can I do it without the striker. I, I can't lie. Yeah, yesterday I don't think we should have brought on Jackson though. What's the point if he's not fit? Then you brought him. Brought oh him. my no, God! Fit. You're going there. You're you actually. Uh, listen, I think you know the reason we kind of lose the game because I'm. Uh, uh, the, the the reason we were so good is because of our players. The reason we were bad is because of our manager. I think whenever he made a sub. Oh, we conceded the goal. Uh, you know why? You know why? Because, 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 because he, he bought, he bought, uh, what do you call it? He bought Nicholas Jackson and then he subbed Modric, right? What, what does that mean? Now Cole Palmer is not going to be playing in a midfield. Because, because when, when Cole Palmer was playing in a mid, right, a mid attack, we, we control, we, we made Arsenal dead. Like we had Casado, Enzo, Cole Palmer, and Gallagher—four people in the midfield. 
right? And then he brings Mudrick. Mudrick was doing the le left. Nicholas Jackson went up front. He wasn't doing the tracking back. He was just focused on scoring a goal, which obviously he missed. It was kind of, he was like, oh, what should I do? I mean, I missed Flash it. Rest. I mean, why did Flash he miss rest. that goal, by Flash the way? Rest. And I then, thought... then, a uh, 77 minute, Arteta makes the right substitution after Flash seeing uh, Nicholas Jackson go on. I, should, I, I don't think we should have brought on Jackson at that point. Why? And that was dumb because like, it no, put no, uh, Cole Palmer if fit, in on. If, like, if it's not fit, like why? Why bother? Is he has a wrist injury? There's nothing wrong with his fucking legs. I'm he can saying. run. No, he did, he really no, did run. I think. I think he oh, he did. He was coming back from a niggling injury. But the whole point is, like I said earlier, you get in minutes when you're two nil, two nil up. There's more conversation to happen. Yeah, listen, it, 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 then the second oh, goal. Like, listen, the wait, second wait, wait, goal. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, if you want to bring, bring, bring mm. us up after 80 minutes, not the early 65 minutes. So I don't even know if he was. Kidding. I think the manager is just being a bit fucking funny. Uh, 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 listen, I don't rate this manager. I don't rate <laughs> you. Can, you can. Whoa, 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 whoa. Classroom. I, I you can, you can, you listen, you can give points to Arsenal because they came back after international break. They didn't, didn't want to put all their uh, gears up front, right? They got the draw. They did their thing because all the team who came, all the top team that came from international break, they won the game, but not convincingly. Right? City didn't want to win it convincing, convincingly. United was yeah. all about to be... Listen, he didn't name anybody. He didn't name anybody. Okay, cool. Cool. He didn't name anybody. I, I think Arsenal, Arsenal got the better of us. They got the point. The second the second time, the Arsenal made the sub. I don't get it. Why are you making the sub right now? You you remove Carl Palmer from the situation. Now a Declan Rice is free to I do whatever he is supposed to I do. Lottery tickets for you, brother. That's that's literally bro, man did the SpongeBob meme. <laughs> literally yeah. did the SpongeBob meme. I'm thinking myself out, man. You you bring you you sub you sub called Palmer, the guy who was literally a deadlocking the Arsenal midfield, and then you bring Reese James and then then the other guy, Maduke Madu Madueke, whatever. Okay. Madueke, right? What happens is everybody is confused. Gutso is where am I supposed to go if Reese James is there? You fucked up the system. It was a proper 2 0 win. We could have scored 3 0. I think this fucking substitution, I don't get this substitution. Classic, what about Sanchez, though? He he, the one that gave away the goal. Well, and after after that, uh, listen. After that mistake, right? After mm. that mistake, what uh, what Pochettino did, he removed Cole pa uh, He removed uh, Mudrake uh, from the situation, and this guy became Sanchez became lethargic. I don't rate Sanchez. People rate Sanchez. People say like his reflexes are good when he does. Listen, when the, when when the ball comes to you quickly, it's easier to save because it's just your reflexes. Is keeper has to do more to. Do with distribution and how you save the proper goals for me sanchez i don't read sanchez everybody knows it it was his mistake right it, it was also ends up kind of like be, being a bit like funny because he's asking for a ball and then he's going uh, on on the left side i'm not blaming enzo but he was just being a bit he shouldn't be asking for a ball if he's not going to completely cover the keeper where he's asking for the direction for so and then it went to rice where's mudrick mudrick was kind of on the le left side doing the def uh, defensive job so uh, they had a chance they bought Enketia and then they bought the other guy what's his name Jesus right Jesus no, sure. right they did it I think it was just and then the second goal second goal nobody knows what they're supposed to do bro the second Can goal you How, have you ever seen Madueke on the left side I've never seen them right. have you ever seen Gutso and Reed James clueless where <laughs> should they go can I he ask you a brought, question? He shouldn't, he shouldn't brought on Reese James anyway. No. Can yes, he should have done. Why, why? Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. Why shouldn't he don't have brought Reese James? Why. Don't ask him why. There's no reason. He's just, he's just something to say. It's just something to say, Scott. Please don't go down that road. <laughs> oh, no, no. I mean, like, if you want to bring Reese James after the 80th minute, that's all. He did. That's what he did. He brought him on. I looked. He that's brought him. No, Reece, no, Reese James and um, what's his name? Eighty-four minutes. Reese James yeah. came. Reese James and Madueke came in the eighty-fourth minute. 
There yeah. was six games plus injury time left to go. Yeah, like... No, it's yeah. not about why, why he bought Rhys James. He could have bring the Rhys James. The Rhys James is not a problem. The pr- problem is why did he sub anybody? Why, why did he use the substitution? Because we that were 2 one game. We were 2-0 up. We were 2-0 up. You can see Mujic. 2-1. 2-1. We were 2-1. No, no, and then we were 2-2. The reason is that 2-2. 2-1. Reece came on at 2-1. Reece came on at 2-1. Yeah, 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 Reece came on at 2-1. Yes, yes. So Reece James came at 2-1 and then Reece James came and they scored. Jackson came Because nobody knew what to do on that side. Gusto was playing great. And they got closer. Not Reece James, bro. That goal was on Gusto. It's clear. We all know no, what the goal was on. No, I'm not saying it's on Gusto or Regen. I'm saying it's on Pochettino because nobody knew what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so Poch should have been at the back post to clear it? I'm confused. No, no, Ma- Madueke. Ma- listen, uh, have you seen Madu- Madueke on the left side? The yes. left side don't matter. Gusto did his job. It does, that's, that's Okay. So where was Regents and Gusto position? Nobody knows, right? At that time. Gusto, he left his man unmarked. We all see. Go the first time they could. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Hey, I'm not, I, I, I don't blame. I don't. I don't blame Regents. I don't blame Gusto. I blame the Pochettino no, guy. Gusto. It's not on Gusto. What, what could the matter? Talk Gusto, though? bro. Gusto. Then you can also blame Sanchez because no, he was so Gusto, bad far behind. Gusto's instructions did not change throughout the night. He had the Gusto, same job. Gusto was listen, I, I can't. I don't he know, bro. It was, it was just like clueless. Everybody was clueless after that. You know, sub. Where should who? No, you you remove Carl Palmer from the situation. You remove Carl Palmer, Carl, Carl Palmer from the situation. It was time for him because to we call had four people that enough. blocked Declan Rice, Jorginho. We had Carl Palmer, Gallagher, Casado, and Enzo. Water. I don't know, bro. I think this is. I think uh, Pochettino. Uh, I don't know. I, I think the reason people are not going to blame Pochettino because he played Modric, he played their favorite you know players, he played the team that you know it's supposed to play. You know why people? Because the reason why people aren't blaming Pochettino, even if. We, uh, I'm not the biggest Pochettino fan. Like uh, Jimmy is, but like, bro, I can't look at it as a neutral. Jimmy can't as a, f- as a fan of Chelsea and be like, oh, that's on him. Hell because no! You have to look no. at the game for Eric what he the game is. amazingly. He called, yeah. he, his tactics was beautiful. Yeah. Nobody, I watched, I watched <laughs> big content creators talking about. Oh, Pochettino's a bottler. I'm like, oh man, man you so, don't like him. You contradicted yourself, like though, bro. Oh, you dude. contradicted <laughs> yourself. You you said that you liked not having a striker, which was Pochettino's instructions, and then you didn't like what Pochettino did on the on the day. <laughs> on, on the second like whenever he made a substitution, something wrong happened. Who would you have brought on? And that, that's Who because, you on? That's you because you you're removing your because you you have a, a game set. Yeah, you have a plan, game, game plan, which was amazing at the start of the game, right? And then you're changing when it's two 0 You're changing. He didn't. He changed. Okay, and okay, Francis you made the mistake. You wouldn't have made any subs. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, up? sure. Well, well, there, there's no, there's no. Sp- why should you make up when you, when you, um, you, you're doing the right thing to rotate yeah, your team because doing, players get tired. He's doing what. But, but, uh, okay, okay, okay. I would have made a sub. Uh, listen, I, I, I would made a um, Madueke coming for Sterling. I wouldn't be changing him for Modric because Modric was helping Kokorea. And he was also helping. He was co- also helping uh, block Declan Rice from the left side. And Carl Palmer, I wouldn't be changing him for. Uh, you wouldn't change him for. Mudrick came off for Jackson. Yeah, he did first substitution, right? Yeah, he should take And yes, then so Sanchez made the a mistake. And then Sanchez made made a mistake, right? Yeah. Because Rice yeah. was open. Rice has nobody to control. No to him. Open. That's not his he fucking teammate. it to him. Jackson came yeah, he passed it, but still, listen, listen, uh, Sanchez had a mistake, but what, listen, Mudrik, Rice had a space no, no, no. to score that goal. What, mean, Mudrik? what would Mudrik have done in that situation? Mudrik would because have been Mo- waiting for the fucking, like, Because Rice was aware of Mudrik. Rice's job was different right. when Mudrik was on right. the pitch. You get it. We, you don't like Todd. You get it. No, no, I, I'm, right. saying, I'm saying Sanchez is to blame for it, whatever, right? But it's, yeah, it's also the manager. 
there's no blame anywhere else apart from Sanchez for that first goal. Nah. My man had like three players open. Was, uh, he had three players uh, open and chose to pass to the like uh, the furthest player away from him, uh, who was not ready for the pass, and I'm had a player sure. waiting back on his back. I'm That's on Sanchez. Bro, I'm not defending Sanchez. I'm the fucking Sanchez hater. Yeah, don't don't turn it on me because you're the one who likes Sanchez. Now you're trying. To, I'm talking about the second goal. You're going at the first goal. Don't don't mind fuck me, bro. God, don't uh, play mind games. I, 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 no, you play mind games with me. I'm talking about the second goal you bring on the first goal. Can I say he something? He has to talk over everybody. He owns. Let, 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 Alex, say, I'm, I'm, let, let Alex talk. I'm not talking. Go on, Alex, bro. What are you saying? Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's afternoon, by the way. Probably not when no, it's here. morning. It's ten forty-eight <laughs> in the morning. I know. I was it's just writing him off. Not ten forty-eight here, but anyway, uh, my my actually couple of things that I want to say for tour you're not involved. I'm not digging on you today. If you called me uh, sexual whatever again, I will fucking find you and I will cut your throat. Next, hold on. Uh, next, next. That's that's a real warning to you, actually. But um, yeah, hold on, you pussy. You can call me pussy, but if you can call me again something different, I will find you, dude. You're not hard to find as a person. You can see it. I can see your big ass fat fat, fat fuck all the way on, on the screen. Oh, you biggest. Here we go again. You as big as the screen on TV when they show the uh, the goal. How you tried to hold. Tried to tried to give a, 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 a like a player hug, but all the thing you got is Gallagher. <laughs> you tried to get. <laughs> You try to get with the other players, but you can see nobody cares about you but the Gallagher. So you're like, ah, I'll put Gallagher on the back then. <laughs> Gallagher has a special needs a charity. Yeah, he's he solid. He, he's solid. He's like, is that a wish? For, is is that a wish? make a wish kid? I gotta give him. <laughs> Gallagher did it with photo app. Yeah, he thought that it was good making a wish. Uh, anyway, for tour, I didn't want to actually troll you today. I didn't. I actually came to talk about the game. I have a time, so I can actually uh, um, say something about the game. I'm actually with uh, class ref on that. I think the substitution don't need to be done at that specific time. Okay. There's nobody tired. There's nobody that injured players that could be re-injured. The 60th minute, the first substitution with Mudrik, please tell me what's the point of it. I think the oh, okay. for once I agree. For once I agree. Okay. I don't understand that. I don't understand that whatsoever. Even if it was, I actually agree with another thing Klaus Ref said. Actually, they are afraid of Mudrik's space. They are more conscious on the left side than when Madueke came in. They were afraid of it. Mudrik was holding the line widest position on the field better than anybody. They were so afraid of it that Rice did not progress up. That's Thank one of the reasons plus the mid midfield was so good. They neutralized Arsenal completely. Arsenal did not have the midfield. As a matter of fact, if you want to see how Arsenal did a successful season yesterday, it's how Chelsea played yesterday in the beginning when we were killing them for the first 60, 70 minutes. We used the same tactics that Arsenal did the whole season by spreading the wingers so wide that they did not know how to do it. That's it. So for me, I think it was, I think it was like, I think, I think Poch reacted to the substitution that they made. They, you see what I'm saying? They thought that the Mudrik, uh, that uh, the substitution, a reaction to it. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. Arsenal did the, uh, did the uh, substitution. So they reacted to. I think they reacted to. I don't think uh, what's his name. Uh, there's been a couple of times when um, what's his name? Uh, Sterling, leaving Gusto by himself, in the left side defending. Gusto was brilliant defending, but it was it was it was 60th minute. You cannot live. You can live a, a fresh defender defend, but you cannot do it at the end of the game when, when people are getting tired. You can beat the player. When he's more tired, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though Gusto was more, uh, Gusto was unbelievable, best, best human Kukoreya. But you see what I'm saying? 
So yeah. if you even make in substitution, from my point of view, I would have done it with Sterling more than I would have done it with Mudrik. It was confusing. I, I if, if it was me, I wouldn't do I would have done it at that time. I wouldn't have done it. There's no point of reacting. There's no point of reacting at that point. Yeah. So for me, that was the thing. Sancho is the idiot. That's all it is. And people saying, oh, I saw some people oh, saying that uh, Arsenal was like, oh, we come back in the 20th minute. Last night, I can't lie, you got last night. Uh, I don't even speak about the golf tour. I was speaking about some other Chelsea fans thinking like, oh, we almost give him the game. We know, didn't know, give him the game. The fact, the fa I, I know you don't lie. You say the truth, uh, cross on your belly. But I, I know, but look. What I'm trying to finish my, my point is about the whole freaking thing with, uh, yesterday. We gave him that hope because before that goal from Sanchez, even with substitutions they made, they, not, they did not play like way of going back into the game. I think they are more afraid of neutralizing to not go on three or four. <coughs> they did not play well even before that goal. Do you people are get that? We're saying that, oh my God, we lost the plot at the end of the game. No, uh, we didn't. The goal itself gave him the hope. That's what gave him the hope. There is not a single chance that we had up until that goal. We are playing at the back. They did not press us at the back before that goal. <laughs> they didn't. That's all it was. The substitutions, the second one, I people blaming Gusto is 100% on him, but you have to block the cross. You can't let Sancho cross in the box. But it's on Gusto at the end of the day. First of all, another thing is, when you, uh, Arsenal, when they uh, got that little hope at the end of the game, all the balls will bypass a midfield. The balls are going up in the air, and the way the way it was his name, uh, uh, um, Havertz. What? Havertz, Havertz. I mean, bringing the ball down. Yeah, the ball was actually to, towards the Havertz. That's why they made this that substitution at the end of it, because he changed his mind. He wanted the Havertz earlier, but then he changed his mind because there wasn't a the plan. Then when High Havertz came in, those balls are come, uh, start to come up in the air. He didn't break down. He lost the ball. The sec the, it's called rebound. He didn't control the ball. Uh, Egal, stop lying. If he controlled mm -hmm. the ball, he wouldn't pass it to, uh, to, to what's his name, to Saka. The ball bounced off his head to Saka. <laughs> well, is that not a pass? It's not a pass. It's, it's not, not a pass. Well, it's not a shot. The soccer. It's not a pass. Did you even watch the game? I heard you talking to on Terrace yesterday. Right, hey, get the fuck out of here. Last time, what are you doing? I'm shameless, bro. Bro, you guys are saying Kyle Havertz didn't mean to pass the ball to Saka for for the lead up to the goal. Well, the second goal. Let me. Yeah, it doesn't. He didn't. So what are you here to try to make it seem like Havertz did something? Wait, he did it. Yeah, Wait, he did it. Well, I'm, oh, I'm not here to fight. Listen, I'm not here to fight. You guys are on defensive. I merely You're not on shit, nigga. We're doing our regular show. Don't come here with that boo. Don't try to shit. We're doing our regular show. We're doing our regular show. Nobody was about you. So come and talk your shit, but don't try to talk about we defensive. Defensive what? We're doing our regular show. What you talking about? Oh, come on, Nico. What are you chatting about, bro? <laughs> Literally, what are you talking guy, about, guys? The guy, the guy, the guy oh, said, the guy said we hoofed it long, and I said, yeah, we did. And Kai Havertz passed it to Saka, and he's saying, and he's trying to deny that Kai Havertz even passed the ball to Saka. I just looked at it. He shuffled it, and then Saka took a step. He cut back exactly. And you think off. you you want to say that that's the that, that that's the uh, skill of uh, Kai Havertz? It's human. You, man. I'm not, bro, I'm not I'm not saying I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, yo, you here to try to get a oh, rise yeah, out of people's yeah, yeah, No, 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 no. Look, look. Trash, he did nothing. Look. What else? Talk about okay. something that matters. Okay. Okay. So, don't matter. You see, one more thing before it all goes, I want to say one more thing. Chelsea bottled it. We bottled it. We yep. bottled it. Yeah. I didn't ask your permission. I didn't. Uh, I didn't no, ask your permission. We you battled it. But one big thing is right. one big it's thing is ago. One we... big thing. One big thing that it, it keeps coming. You meant to destroy us. That's the big part. 
You Saul, meant to destroy you us. There is not a single person I actually Saul, heard that we have a chance of even getting a one point. So we battle it as a Chelsea fans. I can admit that. <laughs> you didn't do nothing. You didn't come back in a game. You didn't come back in a game. You that two goals. What? They didn't did come, come back, back in the game. game. No, we you didn't. Goal. You didn't. We so just they lost? Lost? You what? lost the game? One at a time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, No, 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 no. You are here. You are here because you're a troll. That's no, it. I literally have yes, you are. And you the guy that thinks. And you the guy that thinks that people invite like, you on the stream because of your smart comments. You Alex, really the person. The smart guy. Alex. Alex, Alex. Alex, you're really getting personal here. I'm not even saying anything. You're moving mad. What's wrong with you, bro? Relax. If you don't like me, fair enough. But but at the end of the day, I didn't even say anything. All I came here was you were talking about what happened and how we were hoofing the ball long. Yes, we, we had... Oh, that's the point I that at the Lento, end of Lento, what I was Lento, saying. Lento. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, Kai Havertz won the ball. Then then one, somebody in our midfield passed the ball back to him. He passed the ball to Saka. And you have the audacity to say he didn't even... He didn't even impact yeah, I ball. was not challenging the pass to as a thing. I was challenging the hoof ball that he controlled. It he did not control the hoof ball. That's my point in the beginning. Do you no, see what I'm saying? It's not the hoof ball that I'm uh, it's not the no, pass no, that no, I'm it challenging, is, it's the hoof ball that I'm that, I'm saying that covers. So wait, so you, who came here to tell us about a pre-assist to one a pre-assist? Yeah, come on, man. I haven't said anything. I haven't even said anything. I'm yeah, really saying you have to hear your voice then. Bro, you're on the attack. Listen, I get it. You guys played well. I give you guys credit. But at the end of the day, oh, we, we still we still came back into the game, and you guys are upset. Of course, you're gonna be upset. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Who's upset? To, you didn't deserve to drop points, but we somehow came out of that game with two points. So you happy? Like, so you happy? You happy? You know what? I'm not happy, but we move. We accept the. You draw. are happy. I'm not I'm happy. Are you upset? I'm Bro, of course. What are you? We could have won the game. You, ha you happy how your team played? Your title challenging team struggled with a 12th place team. You happy? Bro, you want to know something, bro? I'll keep keep it real. I'm not happy. Yeah. I wanted to come into that game and win the game, get three points. Oh, we know what you players. wanted to do because you blasted everywhere. Oh, we all yeah. know what you bro, said. Was why, am I even, why am I even to speak if you cut me off every two seconds? Let me land. Yeah, yeah, land, 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 land. All right. Launch pad and quack. He cannot land. He's going to crash. Bro, your action is so triggered by me just being on the stream. Why am I even here? Lewis, have a good day. I'll see you on a list, bro. Don't know. Oh, oh. Get your bitch ass out of here. Get your bitch ass out of here. You can't take back and forth football banter. Get your bitch ass out of here. As I, as, as I was, as I was saying, you, you don't wear your hat backwards if it's not a fitted, you fucking Canadian. Put your fucking hat to the back and it's not even a fitted. If it's not a fitted, you don't wear it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? That's a fitted. You can wear it backwards. It just looks dumb like this. But yeah. <laughs> this, this, what I would, you see, you see, this is why, this is why. This is why he trigger, uh, not triggering. He kind of like pissed me off because 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 the things that he says, the things he says. He only just going. Oh my god! stop me. What he says is actually mad that they are coming back into the game because they are good. They did not come back into the game because they were good. They came back into the game because Sanchez gave him hope. They did not that they did not have a hope in the, up until that minute. No, my, my thing that pissed me off is he jumped on here talking about you guys are defensive. Defensive to what? We ain't been talking about there's nobody arsenal here to talk to about being defensive. Like, don't come on here and then create a fake narrative for you to dive in to get points. It's a debate tactic. I'm a very good debater, so I know this. It's a debate <laughs> tactic. You come in with a false narrative. And then you attack that narrative, and then it's going to be hard for us to defend it because it's not something that we said. Exactly. Nobody I didn't say. I didn't meant to, like. I didn't meant yeah, to say that. To I was. I was on. saying. I was saying the hoofing ball to Kai Havertz was not. Controlled. It's not yeah. controlled. It wasn't. 
It wasn't. And then Egal switched to talk and about, oh. Which is like, he, oh, he, is that assist? Like, you didn't say that he, he meant said. to pass it? No, yeah. because when he hoofed the ball, that ball bounced to the other player, then he passed to high covers, and then Kai Havertz passed it to Saka. I'm not challenging him passing to Saka. I'm challenging that freaking hoof ball to Kai Havertz. Exactly. Like, Kai Havertz, like, oh, you're not giving him even credit even for that? Credit well, for what? could have made that pass, anyone. Anyway. I mean, it's pretty stupid to come in the stream at this time, in my opinion. Just oh, it's not stupid. Do it. It's not stupid. General, that's what just, that's what he you're, does. You're just a dumbass for thinking you. Can that's come what he does. It's like a whole game, game and it's think like, you're going to get a word in when we're all fucking angry. Like it's, it's like a horn horn in, like, into a fucking beehive. Like, like, like I ain't about to let you talk about nothing. I don't give a damn. If you're wrong. Oh, we're gonna no, first things first. I can I wear my hat whatever way I want. Second of all, all oh. I can do today was oh, I, 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 I was actually going to give you some respect. I was actually going to give you some respect, but you acting like an immature idiot. Fair enough. I am an immature fucking idiot. You never heard of me. <laughs> well, I like, big up to him. Listen. Uh, first when it comes I, to I, football, I, I've been an idiot too. He came on the first time to give you guys some credit. My man came on, he was talking oh, about something, you. and I challenged him on his point, and he didn't like the challenge, but fair enough. Big up for Twitter. what what point? Hold on, hold on. What point did you challenge me? Alex, Alex, let it go. I, I let merely it go. stated, go. I merely let stated go. Go. that we let came back into the game because we pressured you guys and we came back into the game, forced you uh, your, your How, what what goal did you pressure us to score? What goal? First goal? Yeah, the second goal. Yeah, that is so not but the second goal, but you didn't get to the game true, until the bro. first. That's hold on a second. One second. He's he's about to agree with me. He's about to agree with me. Yes. Bro. We did. We got the first goal based off your goalkeeper making a mistake. The second goal was where we pressured you. We tried to get a third from Eddie and Ketia's chance. Same way you guys tried to get a, a, a third from Jackson's one on one with the goalkeeper. Both of them didn't end up happening. Up until the okay. End of the day. okay, fair, now, fair, fair, fair. fair. You saw the blood. You took. You tried to took advantage of it. Let me ask you a question. Until can, I, I, can I speak before you answer? I, I'll answer any question you I want. Wanted, I want to ask you about that point that you just made. The okay, question about the point. Up until Sanchez uh, 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 give you the ball, uh, the goal, yeah. did you accept the defeat already at that point? No, I thought we could. Tra all we needed was one goal to get back into this game. Ah, oh, you full of shit! Like I, 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 I even tweeted it. it. I even tweeted it. I even tweeted it. I even tweeted Sebastian, it. I even cut it. it. Listen, all we needed was one goal to get back into this game. And and we got that goal. We got back into the game mm -hmm. by no fault of our own. And you know what? It is Based on how your team played before the Sancho's goal, you didn't, didn't press us. Well. You didn't even try to get the well, ball yeah, away from us. We didn't play well. We didn't play well. Do yeah, it. but that's my speed. point. You didn't press it. You are conceding the game. You did not think that you're going to get anything up to the point. By the way, what minute is the uh, Sancho's goal? 77. 77. 77. And then they score seven minutes. So later. you see what I'm saying? It's a 77-78 minute goal. Right. You're not pressing our players to get the possession of the ball. You saying over here and lying to the world, thinking that that's how you play to get back into the game. Yeah, for that no, 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 he didn't. No, Alex, Alex, Alex. Alex, Alex, Alex. Stay in Vermont. Alex, to be fair, I haven't even spoken, yeah. so you just keep talking. You didn't say that. Bro. Why you keep saying you haven't spoken, bro? Because you, yeah. you, you, you just want a monologue, bro. Yeah. That's the thing. You 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 want this monologue, and yeah, we're not allowed to cool. rebuttal on any of your bro. points. So you yeah. can yeah. Give thirty seconds. <laughs> give me fucking thirty seconds. Nah, give him thirty. Give him thirty. Everybody, give him thirty. A thirty for thirty. Yes, and thirty for thirty. It's not monologue versus monologue. It's a rap battle. First thing first, you guys played well. You guys played well up until your goalkeeper made a mistake. You guys took your goals well. I'm not even going to complain about the penalty. I thought there was two decisions that didn't go our way. But guess what? These things happen in Premier League football. I thought the penalty the, the penalty was fair. I thought the situation that uh, Sanchez should have been given a penalty for taking out Jesus, but it happens. I thought, what do you call oh, it? Get out of here. No, you can't just that. I thought, thought Colwell. Just, 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 just let him. Just let him. Hold on. Let him talk. Was good. One second. I thought I Cola was good. I thought sort of Gallagher was good. I thought, sir, uh, what do you call it? Chill, uh, uh, not, not Cucurella. Uh, Cucurella did very, very well. But then the rest of your team, they did, they were they were average. They, it wasn't it wasn't an amazing performance from everyone. There was three standout performers, and they they helped you guys get this uh, get this lead. Once you guys held on to the lead, uh, up until the seventy seventh minute when Arteta started to make substitutions, which he substitution means win win hold hold hold. 
One second. When Arteta made his substitutions, it changed the game slightly into our favor. We started pressing you more. We started doing more. And then why are you talking about the fuck you guys, you guys, you guys, man? You guys, the fucking keeper oh, gave hey, you a goal. Listen, that, listen that, shut, that your for two shut your mouth for two that seconds and I'll leave. That didn't come from a press. Let me go. My final point. My final point. To sit here and say. I was going to go for you. To sit here and say you bottled it. To sit here and say you bottled it in one breath. And in the other breath say Arsenal didn't go push for those two goals. What did we do? Did they match? Push! He gave you an empty Are you finished? Are you finished, Are you finished, Are you finished? 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 Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Like, one saying question. Saying only one done. question. Only one question. Oh, not question, actually. Only one thing. With all what you just said, how Chelsea average played, average did, as bad as we are, you're saying we are, good luck Chelsea winning. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold, way, on hold on. Hold players. on. With everything you said, with everything how you uh, 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 asked the average, uh, the way you said, the way we played, the way the game went, that that team, that team is actually almost beat you, and we battled it. We battled it. You didn't. Uh, yes. Did. yes, yes. yes. And, and let me, no, no, no. Let me say, it. that bad of a team challenge you. Good luck winning the league. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. Good luck winning the league. Congratulations. As bad as, bad, as bad as, as bad as we are, based on you in your eye, you meant to say that you are the one that's challenging for the league. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. And that's why I'm upset. That's why we're upset. I'm, not, I'm, I'm upset sure. because of Sancho. In any, in any other circumstances, if we weren't challenging for the league, leaving leaving with City uh, City at home and, 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 and Chelsea away with... Exactly, points, Kishan. Be, based on how be, he said Chelsea is... good. What does it make one out second, of Arsenal? Lewis, by the way, we did two previews. One on my channel, one on your channel. Did I ever once say this was going to be an easy game and we're going to blow you out? Yes. No. Yes. No, no, no. Yeah. It's not on our channel. Oh, channel. Yeah. Okay, I can't lie. I never not... said that. Did, did you... so, to, so to sit here and act like... To sit here and act like... Did, you, mean, hear, did you give a Chelsea yeah. a draw? Yeah. Did you give a Chelsea a draw? You said no, we were going to lose no, two nails. Why would I predict a draw? Am I uh, am I going to be coming into this Yeah, game? you almost yeah. said it. Am I stupid? It. Yes, it. you almost did I just once, said it. Did I once ever say, did I once ever say we're going to smash you guys? I always said it was going to be a close game. Small it's going to be comfortable yeah, yeah. win. Did yeah, you say yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had agreements on that one, I think, yeah. Did you say that it was going to be a comfortable win? I don't think you're analyzing. I don't think you're analyzing anything I've said. First things first. The one joke I made was about Manchester United. Big up, TJ. Being Sheffield United would be, would be tougher. <laughs> but hey, that was a joke. If you want to take that joke as as the match, that's not a joke. The game, that's not a joke. But your, your score prediction was no, two nil. That wasn't a joke. Yeah, that wasn't a joke, and I you can see game. it on your face. Because I always said, if you watch Lewis's video when we did the preview, I clearly said we were going to score a second consolation goal, and it was going to be a close game. That's what I said. I that's what I said on the on the previous. Majority of people, majority of people doesn't necessarily mean comfortable either. That's majority of people, on. majority of people giving Chelsea credit because of their defensive performance and the fact that they they were able to see this game majority of the game out without us even doing much. Oh, I Kishan, this is actually a really good question. Igal, answer Kishan's question. Please. Yes, that's a brilliant question. Actually, Which, are we better than our record? Or is Arsenal worse? Yeah, that's a good question. That's a good you, you guys are better than your record. Because oh. because because oh, I see. even one second, I even tweeted this out. I think you guys have been better than Manchester United this season. Uncomfortable conversation. People don't want to talk about it. But the reality is you that's guys have been playing well. You guys have been playing well. You guys just haven't been scoring goals. And don't act like you guys scored these amazing goals also. One was a penalty, and the other one, Mudrik kind of caught our goalkeeper off off guard. Oh, it based on what Mudrik said, like, he meant it. Wasn't it. Like you guys cut us open with your with your uh, in, intricate passes. Mudrik passing. said he meant it. He said he. Uh, the, uh, I'm not going to debate him on if he meant it or not because at the end of the day, that's that's. I'll him. take his word over yours. Hey, of course, Egal. he's the one that struck the ball. Yeah, Egal, 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 can I ask a question, Egal? Egal, like, had more struck, yeah, yeah. Let let Fatur. You guys did. It, okay. it, it struck to it struck a point last night when you said on the terrace about our we didn't our midfield didn't dominate you guys. Um, oh, I don't think I don't think you make me scream. Out. Hear my point out. Hear my point out. I don't oh think you're I don't think you're missing. You guys won or lost the game. 
the you could you could say you could say your midfield did well, but I'm not sitting here saying you guys had a dominant midfield performance. What? You guys actually, you guys actually what? played. You, you had to buy. You had to well, buy. Let, 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 let's let know where. Let's know where. Wait, 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 everyone, wait. let him explain his point, yeah. and then we your game plan. Your game plan. No sense. Your game plan. But we need to know where it's coming from. Yeah, let him season up himself. By bypassing the midfield. Yeah, let him do half. How was the midfield play? How was the midfield play better? The way you scored, you bypassed the midfield. You pitched you the midfield over the ball. average, bypassed everybody in the midfield, and, and that's how you scored your goal. How are you going to now say the entire game you did nothing? There was no – how many – go and took it, look at the stats. Who had more chances created in the game? Who had more chances? Who had yeah, the first, first, the first, first shot on target was the goal. What's, what's all the time playing? Are just from, are from your imagination, bro. I mean, technically, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. This is what happens. This is what happens when people when people hear half a point and they don't let it, the person say their actual point. Launch bad McQuack. I, I, I said, I said on the channel when I was speaking about it, I said, we we're not going to sit here and act like Bruno Fernand, uh, sorry, not Bruno, Enzo Fernandez and Caicedo ran the show. It wasn't that kind of game. The what game, do you mean? How many touches game, did Odegaard have? It wasn't that kind of game. What you guys did. What do you mean? How Jimmy, many Jimmy, touches Jimmy, did Jimmy, Jimmy, brother, Jimmy, you brother, you got to let him have. Jimmy, brother, you got to let him finish. Well, because well, y'all going to let him talk bullshit, bro. Odegaard had 29 touches, my G. Odegaard was shocking. He was the worst player on the planet. Why? Why was he shocking shit, bro? Why? Because of Conor Gallagher. Who? Because Conor Gallagher. No, no, no. Odegaard wasn't back there receiving the ball. Exactly. Gallagher ball. was playing higher than everybody oh, in the middle. Why are you lying? This is why I say it was Kaiseido's pocket. That's where he was. He was in Kaiseido's pocket. The way, you guys, the way your team was defending, <laughs> they were cutting off the supply line. I'll give him credit there. But what I'm saying, and you guys keep ignoring my point, is yeah. Enzo Fernandez and Caicedo didn't run this game. It was you guys also bypassed the midfield by passing it through your wingers and uh -huh. pushing them up the pitch and using them to, to create your attacks. Don't act like Enzo Fernandez. Don't act, like, Enzo. One second. Enzo one second. don't act like one second. Enzo and Caicedo. Don't act like. Don't act like Enzo Fernandez or Caicedo pre played penetrating balls to, that created these openings. You are fucking defense. blind, bro. You are they blind. Didn't. You are blind. How many That's chances? How many chances? How many chances? How many chances did you create through your midfielders? You created two chances Our midfielders from, created from the, for the whole winners. game. You just said it. You just said it. Those two ones <laughs> spreading me out to those to those wingers. <laughs> you just said it. Oh, what are you guys talking about? Like, <laughs> are you are you splash. like actually are you like actually like that red tinted glasses? You can't just take them off for like two <laughs> seconds and actually just look at the game. Off the top rope. Odegaard had twenty nine touches. He was he was pocketed. You guys, he was. I agree pocketed. with you. Okay, well, I'm so well, one second. You was, I'm talking, and you're you ignoring, you're ignoring saying, what I'm, I'm talking about. I'm using your words. You're like, ignoring you're what I'm talking words. about. You just said, listen, you just, said. just because, just because you guys had Odegaard and the supply line controlled does not mean these two guys were the ones running That's the game. That's the game. midfield. They That's did a good job problem. defensively. Oh, I give them credit oh, there. What did your midfield Once, do? What oh, did you do? Yo, Egal, cut it you out. Guys, you guys did a good job. You guys did a good job neutralizing our attack, but your midfield did not run the game from minute to one to the end. Yo, you are way too intelligent. You guys, the way you guys your chances, one second. The way you guys created your chances was not through your midfield. It was through your wingers. You pushed the game through your wingers, and that's and you played through the channels to act like to what? act like. To act like Enzo Fernandez and Casado ran the game from minute one to the end is a so false who narrative. gave those wingers the passes? Who gave those nobody, wingers the passes? Nobody, who nobody, gives the, the ghost? The Holy Ghost gave those passes they, they to the wingers? The they came and got the ball. The blind man did it. The blind they came and got the ball. The blind man. They got nobody said. They got nobody said Enzo Casado ran the game. Everybody said that. Everybody. It was a team effort. It was a team effort. I don't know. It got. It got your side. Enzo. We are saying Enzo Casado. Okay. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say the same thing I said earlier. There were three hundred million pound midfielders on the pitch, and the worst one was the one in red. Who? Declan Rice. 
Yep. Yes, he's the worst of the three. He, he, he was sad for the goal. He was dog shit. Declan he Rice was, was, our, was our best midfielder to act like he was. And, that, and that says a lot. Yeah, he was, your, he he was your best midfielder, and that says a lot. Your team was shit. Your team was dog shit. I'll give you that, and we still got to now. It's yeah, okay to admit like, that your team was shit. It's not like y'all gonna win anything. Yeah, but to act like, but to act like Fernandez and Caicedo bossed the game is bullshit. It is. Nobody said it. They bossed the game. To be honest, they, you're saying they bossed the game. They bossed the midfield. Nobody said it. Everybody said it was a team effort. Order, 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 stop, stop and think. Rice wasn't better than Enzo and Caicedo. That's what's just fun. He didn't say Enzo and Caicedo was man. Rice was for better than seven, minutes, they dogged water. No, he wasn't. Right. He wasn't. Out of all, all, the, all, the, all, all right, out of our six midfielders. Yeah, yeah Gallagher was better, better than ball. everybody, but Enzo and Caseta were actually better but than Gallagher Rice, but Rice got the ball. Not yours. Not yours. So he played a role in bossing your midfield. You acting like Gallagher don't play for us. He plays We're hard. just talking about this game. It was a team effort. It was a team effort. I give you credit. He got He got all right. Nah, bro, you don't give no all the midfielders on the field I yesterday. Then there was Caicedo. Then it was Caicedo. They all played better than Rice. Right. 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 that goal. That's what he did. He's going to empty that goal. Then it was Declan Rice. Take away, take away the empty net goal. What else did Rice do? If I'm not mistaken, Rice by himself, he created one chance. He pushed the game forward. He won back all the balls. He recovered, he, he, recovered, he recovered every single chance, every single time that there was an issue. He was the one doing the recovery action. He made he made goal line. He made clearances. We get it. You're deluded. Are you smoking oh, Booj? Don't act like don't I act wish like it was Booj. For you guys to be criticizing bro. Declan Rice. You're just deluded, bro. Is, is That's what it is. Both of y'all are deluded, dude. To You're be deluded. sitting here talking about that fucking life, that greatest. You're deluded, bro. Y'all like, are the greatest, bro. Show. You didn't create anything in the first. You place. had no chance. What created? You didn't create anything in the first. Place. Said, what bro, chance? Declan, Declan Rice played the whole game. Bro. Declan Rice played the whole bro, game. Let me, let me, let me, let you, so you let me finish in a single bro, sentence. So that's cool. Bro, you said Declan Rice didn't create nothing. Whatever. I already said it. You 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 have your red tinted glasses on. You don't want to see the game for what it is, and that's fine. What? That's what it that's is. That's disingenuous, though, Joey. Come on, man. How? What are you talking How? about? No, no, no. This actually a genuous point. You know why it's this is a genuous point? Because no, 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 no. I can I, I can actually explain. Joe is actually right. The reason so, why he I think said Declan Rice made on, one chance, on. and this guy says, "How dare you say go. he Let me let me say one thing. I gotta go. Let me say one thing. No this worries. is what the disingenuous well, part. Exactly. This is this is what the disingenuous right. part is going in. Right. No, no, no. Because you go on, on the same point that you've been going for the uh, uh before. We're still unbeaten. We're still top of the table. We're still dead. That's what is ingenuous about it. Because if uh, you do not admit, if no, 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 we got. Let me finish. If you do not admit that you actually did not start your season like last season. And you're saying that you scrap, you're doing better because you actually, I didn't, like I didn't season. ask you anything. I'm just trying to say. A, you a just thing. asked me if we started our season the same as last season. And, and that's a no. It's a, if it's a figure of speech. Okay. So don't what I'm trying, question, what I'm trying to say is with that state of mind, what Joe is saying that you diluted this game, you go into game to game basis. You keep saying the same, the same narrative when you play in poor for the, all of your games. But one, I actually one or two games this season that you actually played well. Rest of them game is Chelsea right. games, and the fact that is that you can't admit that throughout the season you saying the things that you should no, be saying. Like, I did not ask you anything. I'm saying that what you go no, throughout the true. season. Are we sitting here? What I saying, what you are saying you're is me, you did you're, you're winning the points. You yeah. playing poor, but you get results. That's what exactly your points. But like the I good teams that team fight, but the team? good teams that fight for the title, they have bad performances and get the points. Not in the beginning of the season, they get them at the end of the season. You using that excuse in the beginning of the season. That's the narrative. The big teams, when they play bad and get results, it usually happens February, March, or Christmas yeah. period. You using them in September, October. That's what I'm trying to say. One All second. that. Not besides City, every team in the league that goes uh, that goes away from Chelsea 
usually struggles and doesn't get results. Arsenal are five games undefeated against Chelsea. That's one. Arsenal are still undefeated in the What's league. What's that fact has to do with My, what I said? Land, and you'll get it. I get your point. We have not played well this season to the level that we did the start of last season. And yes, in order for us to compete for the league, we have to see better performances. I fully agree with you there. But to, uh, to sit here and say, oh, based on the performance versus Chelsea, this Arsenal team still fought. We came back. We drew that game. And that's what you need to be able to do when you're not but playing well. The fact well, that is, how many games you fought well, back to get the results this season? Well, when you're not playing well, Egal, how many games did you had to away, fight back to get the results away. this season? Bro, we've we've only had not one bro game. me. Answer had, the question: How many one. games this season you fought back to get the results? I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head how many games we've fought back. Maybe uh, I can only think of what three games: the the game against Manchester United, uh, this uh, this game, Fulham, um, Crystal Palace, Fulham. We drew. Uh, Fulham. We uh, we drew. Yeah, uh, we lost it at the end. We messed up. Yeah, Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, we won. Palace, it was a 1-0 win. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You part back. Ian, I'm going to let you Sean come in, but I'll shout you out. You see what I'm saying? I think you're kind of pushing it. I think you're kind of pushing it. But... I'm kind of pushing it. Yeah, because at the end of the day, a good team, a good team, yes, you have to get results, but going 2-0 down to, to Chelsea away from home and coming back and drawing back. It's not about game. Chelsea, what I said to go. I'm saying about still, Arsenal title challenge at this point. Bro, it's too early to write us off. I still yeah. think this team needs to improve, and we maybe need to go up a side. See, what I'm saying is, you get we if you keep if you actually look about uh, uh, saying that uh, what's what's funny about it, we played yesterday. We beat you how you played the whole season yesterday. Mm. No, no. We played it, yes. We played exactly the system that you were successful the whole season yes uh, last year. And you know something? I said we were going to sit back from the jump. I'm I'm getting, like, you know, yeah, yeah, I don't care what you said. said. I'm that, saying, yeah. do you understand what I I'm saying? How mad that is? But but but, but you're, you're acting like that wasn't our tactic from the jump. This was our tactic. Yeah. Tottenham. This was our tactic. That was a tactic. This this was our tactic against a lot of teams. And you know what? It, it was not a good idea because we did not play well for the first 70 minutes. And maybe our needs to figure that out. But to sit here and say, oh, oh, play, this is a goal's gymnastic. No, people. bro. This is truth. a goal. It's the truth. And go the tr watch. Go watch the game against Manchester United. Go watch the game against City. Go watch the game against Tottenham. All three of those games. No, ball, because your midfield cannot moment. hold the ball. That's why you don't control it. No, because we. Feel, so uh, you say no, 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 no. Hold on a second. Yeah, hold on a second. Fuck out of here, it's uh, no, no, no. What's that funny is English, no, man. What's funny That's is not that how you, play. you no. You That's think that you think that the team specifically designed to not hold the ball. You Yo, saying Arteta had to play, bro? Oh, you saying Arteta choosingly giving ball away? Bro, we actually have been playing without the ball Our against some of these teams at home. So away from well, home. Against you, all right, you know, my question is: Do you think that is a good idea? I don't think it's a good idea throughout the run of the whole season. But right. how many games were you played like this? Okay. Four. And the rest of them, you're dominating. The rest of the games were against lesser teams that played low blocks. We had to break them down. So it's echo. So you uh, hold on a second. That's 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 my biggest uh, pit peeve with people tactic tacticians. When team plays low blow, that doesn't mean that you control the game and you have a lot of possession. You and gotta. It's you, no, no, no. Our whole point is to capitalize on your mistakes. No, my point is my oh, point man, is possession the goal. You no. say no, you you see Bro, you, you just said. You, you just said that you team. willingly give the ball away. That's not how you play, oh, you know, Stop cutting it out. Go look at the go look at the first half versus Manchester United. Look at the possession versus Manchester United. Go look at mm. the first half versus uh, Tottenham. Look at the possession versus those teams. Mm. We gave them the possession mm. and we played without the ball for majority of that first half to force them into mistakes. It didn't necessarily work. We ended up having to uh, scrape results. I just want to know when the low block team. When low, style. when you're playing low block team, are you giving are you giving the possession a, a lot no, of thought? Against against those teams, we recycle the ball and hold no, on to possession yeah. a lot more. No side. Mm. Arteta is good with substitution. I have to agree with the guy. He, he's not. He's better than Pochettino, by the way. Sure. And, and, and you guys are making it. You guys are trying to tell me about our tactics. Like, let's be real. Arsenal worship. You and what tactics should not con uh, Bro, uh, 
go you guys, in the guys, same. You guys, you guys yeah. take positivity away from this game because you know what? There's something you can build from this performance. Even something guys... we can build from three games before. You didn't give us a credit for it. That's the fun part. You but said no, oh, no, 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 no. Your words, saying, have your words on record. record. Your words. I don't think those three games are, should be uh, should be a taste of what Chelsea is building up for. Isn't it your word? Yes, oh. because that's a fair. Yes, point. you are. That's you said, you said, you said Chelsea from, until the big boys. Until, Alex, you said Alex, until Alex, the big boys. Alex, Alex, bro, Alex, let's not, yo, let's not be too yeah, yeah, you guys, yeah, like, bro, you guys bro. like hearing your own voice, but let's the, see the shit you three say. Games, three games. Hey, yeah, listen, this listen, you listen now. Yeah, 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 learn this. The shit you say gets clipped, and everybody sees. And you want to know something? Every hear on record. Don't come over here and switch it up. Don't switch it up. Let me Hold you what said, you, you said, you said that you those three games that Chelsea won, those the, no, this is exactly Gal's it. words. This is exactly Gal's words. Past three games that Chelsea won should not be taste of way getting back into the or way getting some kind of consistency, right? Right. So you said we'll, we'll see how we do when the big boys come in. Are you consider yourself a big boy? I don't care about your TikTok, oh, man. Your grown no, ass man with a child have a TikTok. Uh, That's all it says. I've, I've been saying this. You a grown ass man who makes TikToks. Let's that thing. Bro, bro, I, bro, I, bro, I, bro, I, bro, I think 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 let me just say this come off my line you guys Please. some credit but i feel like alex is on the attack and very is, is very defensive i'm not talking about you right now I'm talking about alex because before this game even started after oh, you guys beat burnley this is what i said it looks like chelsea might be turning a corner but of course they're playing arsenal next you see, I was making a joke. Do with yeah, you were making a joke on TikTok. I didn't acknowledge. Hey guys, I, one way second. Way bro, two yeah. seconds, bro. You keep chatting shit. I merely I stated. Oh, oh, I, merely, oh, I merely stated. Oh, even oh, Lewis oh, can oh, tell you. On A-listers, oh, everywhere. I've stated. Chelsea look like they've turned a corner. Now it's going to be interesting. This is going to be the toughest test. And let's Did see you say it. that on Terrace? Did you say I that on Terrace? I did say that on Terrace on Monday. Uh, on 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 Friday when I spoke about it after the game I gave you guys a lot of credit. What I was disappointed in is people coming on after the game chatting shit like 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 you guys you guys were freaking the best team in the planet. Like certain people were. Yo, doing. And no, I get it. Your ass kicked until you got a free goal. That's what. So what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Like, are you? Are, is is that enough credibility from three games like, plus bro, Arsenal game? <laughs> Uh, is that at the end of the at the end of this whatever you just did with TikTok? It's like a grown ass man make TikToks or grown ass man take a selfie with the food oh, at so restaurants and post it on Instagram. Get out of here! I don't, care, right I, don't care, I don't care, man. I don't care, man. How old are you? You're doing content right now. How old are you? You're on YouTube. Grown ass man on YouTube. This is not a content. I'm not creating it. I'm in it. About? I'm talking about football. No, because bro, you're shooting yourself in your ass. You you're moving silly. Bro. Shooting myself in ass. You never yeah, hold the trigger, shit. man. What the? What? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking I, about the. I merely, man make a TikTok I merely, I merely was showing you guys that I gave you guys credit Everybody going knows. into. No. I, I merely said that going into this game, I gave you guys credit. I said we cannot lose to Chelsea because I feel like that would be embarrassing. But overall, I never thought it was going to be a, a, an easy win. And you guys are sitting here saying, oh, I said this, I said that. I'm not like all these other people. I never said we we're going to beat you guys 4-5-0. Five, no. I never said we we're going to beat you guys 3-0. No. I never said you guys were shit. Somebody said, when somebody I says it's going to be a comfortable I win. Here, I never came here and belittled your goals. I never came here and belittled your performance. But you guys are sitting here. and we acting. We like said that we never control the game. This is not literally oh, I, just the game. Said, I just said you guys did well for defensively, but don't act like your midfield was bossing the game and, and creating all these chances. And they lost the game. Oh, so how many chances did you create versus us? 
You guys neutralized what? our attack. How, How many chances? chances did we create? How many chances did you create? You created two big chances. We created one big chance. No. We one big chance. No. 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 There no. were more our attacks were not done. You, I, 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 you I, see I, what I'm saying? Are, are we going to talk? What are we talking no. about? Are we, are, were attacks? Neither of our attacks were scintillating. <laughs> Let's not act like either of our attacks were amazing. Oh my god. Like literally, <laughs> we literally we literally missed the goal because we missed the goal. We didn't we did not score because we missed the goal. You did not score because you didn't even have a chance. So you're just telling me both of our attacks were shit. You're no! what? <laughs> you see how you see how two different people can watch two different or well, same game? Like why we are, literally, our like forward line did, did not glasses. score. You did not red even shit. Why are look, you acting like? You guys look, had, Egal, you guys our, our goal scorers yes, did not score. Pumps. Your scorers did not more score, score. Yes, score yes, did not score because they didn't even have a chance. You didn't capitalize on it. Yes, yes, but you didn't even have a chance to do it. And I gave you guys credit, and you still want to cr uh, criticize me for it. What? But you said our midfield didn't boss the game. How do y'all normally score? We we usually score from our wingers. Do y'all normally go through the midfield? We do, 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 do. <laughs> Not yeah. have about 20 fucking assists last year. No. no? Seven. seven. I thought Odegaard <laughs> went 15 and yeah, 15. I thought, I thought went 15 15. Why couldn't he get yeah. the ball? 15 Why? Why you couldn't get the ball yesterday? Because you guys you guys neutralized him. Who, who neutralized him? The, the goalkeeper, center back, left back, right back. Yeah, you, tell, you tell me who was who's on oh, Fatur did it from the crowd. Who, so who, answer, who answer, neutralized answer. Him? question again? What was the question again? What's the hold on a second? Do you have uh, who support like defensive midfielders? What is their job, we go? Nothing. Just stand there. According to Egal, they did nothing. So Even what does that mean when when the defensive midfielders like touches. when defensive midfielder neutralizing <laughs> the game of your opponents? What Caicedo, does that mean? It was Caicedo, it, I think it was Caicedo or Jorginho was it? Yeah. So how was that not their job? They did it on their own, Alex. Caicedo and Enzo didn't well, do anything. Because you're talking about how our midfielders I'm didn't create it. chances. Caicedo's job ain't to create no fucking yes. chances. Yes. His yes. job yes. is to neutralize the most attacking midfielder, which was Odegaard, oh. who was oh. underneath his fucking left cleat, his left boot. He got neutralized. Odegaard's locking down your midfield. Outside of the empty net goal, Declan Rice didn't do anything. And he was playing box to box. He did nothing. And you saying that Enzo didn't do nothing? All the passes and all the passes from Enzo, all the passes from Enzo to a Sterling. How many times Sterling overturned your uh, fake blunt uh, left back or whatever that guy is? How many times? Bro, Enzo, yeah. No, no, no. Answer the question. How many times? How many times Sterling? How many times Sterling took turned around uh, Zinchenko? One time. So why was he substituted in the halftime then? Because he's shit. Okay. So, yeah, so shit, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. So how did Sterling get pass? Who, who Sterling pass? <laughs> who who passed it to Sterling? Sterling got Sterling got two accurate passes for for the whole game from Enzo Fernandez. What are we talking about here? In 30 minutes. In the whole game. Accurate passes from the whole Where game. There's pass? only two. There's I don't know, man. I don't know where he gets There's those. Only two I don't, I don't, There's only I don't. two long passes. There's only two long passes that Enzo Fernandez completed the whole game. And you're making it seem like he was doing an amazing Where job. Where are you getting me stats? Foot mob. You want me to show you? Foot mob? What the hell? <laughs> I can show you. Is that the shoe? Is that the shoe store? We're gonna, like, we're gonna act like Enzo Fernandez you know, was I, out I'm here. Not, I'm we're not gonna act like Enzo Fernandez was out here doing everything. Bro, you, see right you there. defended yourself. I just want to know where you're getting your stats from. What are we talking about? I want to know where you're getting your stats from. That's where you're. Look on the screen, about. bro. Are you blind? I'm pulling it up myself. Sake. Look on the screen. I don't need to be blind. Look on the screen. Look on the screen. What you I, I actually want to see the website. Like, you could pull up any website. Foot mob, that right? Did you, you say it was foot mob? It's fucking foot mob. What else do you want to see? You want to see about some shit. 
Fuck off. Can you see? Are you blind? Oh, what are you, you blind? talking about? You talking over are you here? Blind? I can see what you're putting you on blind? the screen. Let me make it bigger for you. Dude. Chill the fuck an out. Idiot, bro. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm you're an idiot. idiot, bro. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Yeah, are okay. you blind? Like, get out of here. I'm not looking at the goddamn screen. I'm looking it up myself, you fucking retard. Like, don't hey, come at me. You're blind, bro. You're blind. You're clearly blind. I'm looking at you. You've been saying red tinted glasses the whole time, but look at you right there. You're looking like an idiot. Fair enough. You are goddamn right in front of you. The stats right in front of you. You come on, stats right in front of you. The stats right in front of you, and you still refuse to see it. You're an idiot, bro. You look like an idiot. It's right in front of you. Let me share it again. Let me share it again, Lewis. All I did was ask for the website, and you're talking shit. Clearly, you can't see. You're a bozo, bro. Foot you're mob. a bozo. There you go. You want to see it again? Foot mob. There you I go. don't give a Let fuck what Enzo you're Fernandez. pulling up, bro. I just want to no, see the website. Oh, I asked you for the website, you and you where's got the on the defensive. Oh, where's the bozo. There you go. You want to go yeah. defensive actions? Why? What not? What not using? Why not using the website? You are getting all defensive because I asked you for the website. Look no, at because you, you because you've been chatting shit the whole time, I was and when I prove you wrong, you don't want to sit there like a little kid and be, right, and be like, you know what, you're right. Bozo. What are you talking when you're about? Wrong, put your I hand literally up just you're asked wrong. you for a website that you were using, and you wanted to fucking get all fucking butthurt about nah, it. You I don't know what's your problem. Idiot, you're an idiot, and I'm just like, yo, oh, I'm, I'm an idiot for asking you what website you're using. Because I didn't know what website you're using, where you're getting these stats. Well, oh, I can't you. ask that question. I, I love oh, it. congratulations. Yo, Holier than thou, a yo, gal Joseph, gets to Joseph, say Joseph, what Joseph, people do. Joseph, you're, all, probably cool you're probably a cool guy. You're This is the first time I ever hear about that website, by the way. Bro, you're acting like an idiot. I, 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 no more people use it. No more people using the, the sofa scores or stuff like that. Look like one second, one second. Tell me who doesn't use football? I don't. I've never heard of the fucking website. Until I've years. never heard of that either. To be fair, I could look at sofa scored. I could look at who scored. Like it all just yeah, there's so up, many websites to look at, and you can okay, you know, you know, you're acting like. Like holier than now. Exactly, that's my no, point. No, I'll look at the game. I'm looking at the game. I look at the game. Might be great, uh, but I've never heard of it. That's no, it. Because you, because you asked me a point that could be directly uh, that could be directly refuted with a stat, and then next thing you know, I only ask you what website said. you're using. That's the only question I asked. The yeah, only Joe didn't do nothing. He was genuinely asking for the website. You I literally you... just asked you for the website, and you took it so defensively, dude. That's all. It, that's all it came off. You you heard more words in your head than you may have, but I only asked you for the website. Maybe Joe. Is, maybe Jimmy is right. That hat needs I to be uh, fitted. I, I have no idea where you came up with this idea that I said more than that. I only asked you for. What it's website less you presses on the few right, so you, cells you, left. You admit you that have. you've seen what you wanted to see, though. What? Yeah. Yeah, I okay, saw what I wanted to see. I mean, I, I, there's 10 websites you can look at, Egal. That's the only point that I'm saying. I so was just trying to figure out what you were using. I don't so want to have an argument over semantics. But my point is, my point is, I backed up my point with a stat, and I wanted to show you that stat. Now, it doesn't matter it's what great. website it's from. See, I'm see, not see. disputing the stat. No, I was never what Egal does, what Egal does, he does not. Alex, Alex, I've been on here for I don't know how long. I don't care. As long as I've been Nobody on here. tied you to the to the long, with the chains over here. As long as I've been on here, as long as I've been on here, you brought my case. I'm just gonna say this: in one breath you're saying you bottled it, and in the other breath you're saying Arsenal never did nothing. So you're just saying the whole because you didn't. You know those two things can be both be true, right? Exactly. Those two things can can. So let me let me land then. My whole point is: so you're saying this whole game is on like Ukrainian planes. This whole game is on Sanchez. Try to land again. This, this whole, this game, whole game, this whole game is on Sanchez and the errors we yep. made. You did exactly. nothing. You did fuck all. Oh, so you did literally nothing. Apart from, apart from one cross, apart from one cross, which we should have done better with, you did well, nothing. Our goal, all game. our goal isn't on Raya. The Mudra goal isn't on Raya. Yeah, that's on Raya. That's sure. right. so penalty. Sure. Penalty. Oh, what is that has to do? You did the goal versus you conceded the goal. I'm just showing you. I'm just showing you. What's the what's the hang on? Hang on. You're talking about. Are, are you, you stupid? Like, are you, a genuine question. Are you stupid? No, he's not. Bro, what, what the fuck does Rania have to do with? Are anything? we talking about? With no, 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 Jimmy. Fuck this. Fuck this. We're talking about a moment where our goalkeeper gave your player the ball and gave him an open goal to score versus you know, we created a chance. Mistake, no, shut the fuck up a second. We're That's talking about where we created a chance that your goalkeeper fucked up on. We created that chance. 
Okay, we created the, the chance for the handball. We created what that. Penalty? Penalty? No, no. What did you create from the first goal? What did you create from the first goal? Nothing. Because we fucking gave it to you. you. You didn't create anything, Egal. He literally gave him the ball with an empty net. That's a creation. You created one game cross in the whole game. One he cross. gave Declan Rice the ball with an empty net. Bro, he still had to strike that ball. He could only that's, oh, okay. yeah, that's where I'll agree with you. A professional yeah. footballer can't hit an empty net, bro. A professional footballer. A hundred million dollar footballer. Get him the fuck out of here. Let him land these nuts. That's shameless. Get him the fuck out of here, man. A professional footballer with an empty net. Klazerak, right. logic, Futur. Oh, Klazerak, you're, you're looking for logic with Klazerak. You're looking for logic with Klazerak. Listen, I, I, would have, I would have rice right now over Enzo. I would have rice over, wait, 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 over Enzo. Wait, wait, wait. But this game, this game, rice would be better than Enzo. That are coming out of my mouth. If you say that you gifted us two goals, just as much, we can say we gifted you goals. We didn't say we gifted you two goals. You didn't you gift we us. Won. We created the chance. That's the difference. The fuck is you talking about? We created Then you go create another fake narrative. Look, look, no way. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on a second. Do you see the difference? We gave you the goal versus we created and you made the mistake. Yeah. We created now he's pointing out, but you, you are pointing out. I, I think you guys are equal. I think you guys uh, does talk a lot of sense. Let, 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 let him talk. Let him talk one on one. You created that goal. Right? We created the second and goal. And I'm gonna get come on. I'm asking you a question. Next time, brother. I'm asking you a question. In the in, a, in the game against Manchester City, you created that goal, correct? Yes. Okay. So what's the difference made the mistake for those type of those? E those luckyish goals that we just scored on you compared to that Man City goal, compared to what you did. I'm going to tell you the difference. Arsenal did it. That's the only difference. Because the Man City goal was a deflection. People discredited it for us. Okay, and our our handball was a deflection off of Mudrik's head onto Saliba's hand. Yeah. The, 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 the penalty, cross no. was a, was – Bro, what's the difference? I, I am not discrediting the goals. You guys are discrediting our goals. So I'm just saying... It was yes, that I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm saying we keep the same energy. The difference, what bro. The difference. What cre Yo, Egal, what credit do you want for a keeper passes the ball directly to your midfielder, directly in front of goal with nobody in front of the net? Give what the fuck are we talking about? Nah, that, that was a good shot by Rice. That was an amazing goal, by the way. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. Shut up. I know, good shot. Nah, that was a good shot. Do you know how difficult that shot is? Do you know how difficult that shot is? He could only do it one There's a defender in front of him. There's a defender in front of him. No, there it's not empty, man. There's a defender in front of him. Don't act like it's... Don't act like... Oh, yo, yo, man, get out of here, man. Is good, the, the way yeah, shot, the, I, the, thought, the, the, I thought the rice ball was decent. I thought he it. Really yeah, hard. yeah, both of you motherfuckers are stupid. Is Just tell me that, that. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fucking stupid. I Bro, I saw the man of the match. If you think that goal was difficult, you're was fucking shit. stupid. Fuck Bro, if about, you, you know? think that goal is easy, go do it yourself. Show me a video. I ain't a fucking I'm professional seen... footballer, you retard. Hey, now David Beckham scored against Wimbledon. That sort of a goal. It was a goal of the decade. Hey God, hey God, we saw you playing basketball. We saw you dance, and you should be a professional dancer. Hey, bro, I'm a, a better basketball player than all you guys on this freaking screen. You talk your shit. Look, you talk your shit. I'm, I'm you talk your shit. You're a better basketball player than who? You play ball. You're a better basketball player than who? You ain't saying nothing about you, athlete. You, you. I make your blood boil. Don't, don't, you don't fuck. You got it fucked up. I mean, better the best 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 I think Fatou is better possible than you. I'm only here for five minutes. Hold on. Hey, please let me land. Let me land. Let me land. Hey, listen. Hey, girl. Listen, you're my guy, yeah. But we can't sit here and deny that we what we got away with murder in that game, bro. And wallahi, I said that. No, no, I know, no, no, no. I know you said that. No, no, listen, listen. But where they're coming from, yeah. Whether you was bantering or not, whether you meant it or not. Yeah, in the last couple of weeks, you've been talking your shit about how we're going to beat Chelsea and that. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is, yeah, we didn't. We got absolutely steamrolled the whole game. They gifted us a goal. After that goal, yeah, we started taking a bit of control. But before that, like, 
they, they people are trying to. They denied the fact that we even took any control of the game. No, we Sorry. did take yeah, a bit of control. No, no, after we scored. No, I'm not saying we took control. No, whoa, whoa, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. What I'm trying to say is we took more control as in we wasn't like, you wasn't steamrolling us anymore. That's what I meant by we took control. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like we were, we were peppering the goal a little. We weren't even, well, it wasn't even we were peppering you. We were just like more, a little bit more attackive. That's what we was. But that's, but that's. Nice but, but even even in that, but we but like I said, without Rice getting gifted that goal, and when I say Gallagher, it, it kind of was down to Gallagher as well. It it does stand because yeah. he should have been more aware. He should have been more aware. But yeah. you know, Sanchez should have been more aware that Gallagher was with right, like Rice was right next to Gallagher. At that moment, yeah, yeah, I'm saying so. Yeah, before that goal was gifted to us, the goal. Yeah, we were we. Above, I just wanted that game to finish. Because we were getting steamrolled, bro. They were controlling us. Are you on, you're on mute. You're on mute. You're on mute. Yeah, yeah but Pochettino, Pochettino subbed at the 84 minute when we should be like, okay, the game should be off as soon as possible. Pochettino spent three minutes on the fucking 84 substitute. Pochettino should have put the actual He spent three minutes on the sub. All I'm saying, no, no, the reason why I'm here is all I'm saying is, yeah, Egal, just obviously this one, yeah, I, I, bruv, listen, this is Chelsea, I understand, bro, and bruv, you're talking to a gooner right now, you think I really want to give these man credit, bruv, you think I want to give these, no, 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 Are you, you're, you're mute, by the way, you're mute, innit, but I'm saying... No, we can't hear you. Yeah, we can't hear you're you. You're mute. I gave them a lot of credit. I can't oh, you. No, but I know, I know, I know it's hard. But like sometimes you have to, some you know, when you have to just like. This is a big pause moment, but you have to suck it up, bruv. Like you know what I'm saying, bruv. You have to suck it up and move on, bro. Like you just have to look at it. Like do you know what? It is what it is, bruv. Like we got away with murder. Whatever, cut, whatever cooking I'm getting. Do you know what? I ha hold my hands up. I did, I did talk my shit. I'm not. I'm not saying you spoke as much shit as half of these fans saying four, five. No, I'm not saying that was you. I know that wasn't you because, like I said, I know you was only you only predicted like one or two nil or something like that. So I know you wasn't talking your shit like that. But sometimes you'd be like, you know what? I hold my hands up. I spoke my shit. I was wrong. These men actually did control us more than I thought they would. And move on, bro. The reason why these men are on you so much is because you don't like. It's like you don't want to accept the L in that sense. I'm not saying it's an L, but it's like it's like. The fa Cam Cam, the fact is, with the gal, it depends what stream you go into with what he's saying. Because on streams that you in, that Lewis in, he's not saying he's gonna be uh, killing us or anything. But Terry did. But on Terry, yes. he said, I don't that's see him so. scoring the goal. Oh. I don't oh. see them chair. Oh, yeah. yeah. You said, yeah, it's not. That's about what I'm saying. Score. Do you know what it is, the gal? Even even if you even if you're going on Terry's thing, yeah. If you're going on Terry things on a shameless thing, bruv. Even if we take it, oh. Bro, you have to keep that same goal. Do you know what? Now, nah, ban that. Whatever, bro. All right, cool, innit? It is what it is, innit? But I still stand by my point, innit? You know what I'm saying? Like, like it is what it is, innit? You might were lucky, innit? You just, you just got to shamelessly, like, stay with the same energy, bro. He came on the stream and he was chatting shit. And I was telling him, bro, what are you talking about? If you're talking about Odegaard, fair. If you're talking about certain guys, fair. But he was just coming on a shameless thing, talking absolute bullshit. And I had to check him on it. And then I left. Egal, what I'm what I Egal. actually you see look Cam Cam I was hey, actually can, can I can I just tell can I just say this Alex from the minute I came in you said uh, when I said the when I said the the Havertz had an impact you denied it when I said when I everything, yeah, that's everything, that's everything, impact. everything I said everything Cam, Cam. I said you've denied you've been on a you've been on a thing where you've just been trying to push back on everything that I've said even when I'm accurate he didn't have an impact. So now when my man comes on and says the same exact thing that I said. No, he didn't. He said no, it, no, he didn't. When the Kai Havertz, first of all, you brought the Kai Havertz name. When I, when I was trying to say that the hoof balls start to coming in based on what you said that you could, uh, we did not control the midfield. I was saying, how did the ball get to your forward line? Because of the hoof ball. And you brought Kai Havertz. And I was like, yeah, Kai Havertz. You put the Kai Havertz and you start the hoofing ball to him. You said that he controlled the ball to Saka. I said, no. The pass that you talking about to Saka, it wasn't the hoof ball. The ball that came to a hoof ball, Kai Havertz did not control. It bounced to your player. Then your player passed it to Kai Havertz. And then Kai Havertz passed it to Saka. That's the fact. 
ka Havertz passed it to Saka. But I wasn't it talking go. about the pass. I was talking about the hoof ball. See go. the difference? Hey, guy, remember, listen, listen, listen. I'm only, you got to remember, I'm taking possibly one of the worst L's ever to take to anyone. Can I shut the fuck up? Uh, a girl is most probably right. Shut the fuck up, bro. I mean, shut the fuck up. He's saying, he's saying, Arteta gave the gave the game to Chelsea. A lot of teams do give uh, give games to Chelsea because we can't finish. So that's a game plan. It's an Arteta game plan, and he's right. Oh, yeah. They they did it. They did it after seventy seven minutes. They got the two goals. Is this Chelsea fan? Is this Chelsea fan? Unfortunately, no, 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 no. Is this Chelsea fan, bro? Because listen. We can't yeah. win the game. We can't score the game. Every single manager hey, listen, comes to hey, our listen, ground. Well, they listen, give us listen, the game. Listen. They give us the possession. They give us the possession. This guy is in denial, blood. What the fuck, bro? He's a, yo, it's Lewis. No, 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 no. Every motherfucker team is capable of the possession. We have, we have like, like, uh, listen, why can't you give percent. your team credit, bro? Like, but um, I literally say give credit where credit's due, and I've yeah, said it. I've said it. I said, listen, Enzo, listen, 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 people are trying to get onto me because I said, points. Enzo, you don't have huh? points. You're not in Champions League. Do you want me to be happy because we're not fucking in Champions League? The I'm a fool, bro. Listen, yeah. hold on. This is one of being, but this has been one of your best games, yeah. Uh, listen, I understand where you're at with your whole team in general. Yeah, cool. You're not with it. Bro, where we you want to be against cool. Liverpool. Cool. That listen, was our bro. Game. Just listen, you chill, bro. Chill, bro. Take a chill, bro. Bro, I'm bro. Thank you, Dan. Bro, I'm bro. Chill, bro. Just chill. Let me, let me land, bro. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Fucking waste of space. Thank you, Daniel. Shut the fuck up, Scott. Hey, make me, bitch. Shut the fuck up. I no, whoop your fucking ass, game. bitch. Fuck you. Oh, bro, I was gonna, I was, I was gonna, I was, gonna, I was gonna try and calm this whole situation down. But like, yo, listen, no, you gotta give credit where credit is due, bro. Like, I was literally, no, Jimmy, Jimmy, do you know what I was gonna say, bro? I was literally gonna say to him, I listen. No, bro, who's this guy, bro? Just came out of no blue, bro. He was, he was going like I was attack. I wasn't even attacking the girl, but I was literally just saying. Do you know what I was gonna say? I was saying, listen. You're talking to me right now, a guy who's literally, like, and gal, a guy will laugh at this, a guy who's literally just taken one of the worst L's to ever take, yeah? And I took it humbly. I've taken it humbly, yeah? I've taken it humbly, yeah? I said I'll explain myself on uh, my stream when I come back on the Gunners Talk on Thursday. Yeah, it's not like I'm going to try and reignite nothing. It's nothing like that, yeah? I'll just explain why, and then I'm moving on from it. So I've taken it humbly, yeah? A hey, gal, and you know me, bro. You know everyone was shocked, fam. Yo, Cam Cam's taking this. What? You know, bruv. So it's one of them, fam. That's why I'm saying, bro. Sometimes, just sometimes, you just gotta let man like realize. It doesn't matter what you said on Terry. I know when it comes to Terry's t channel, I know you. You like to rattle cages, bruv. I know yeah. you for a long time, bro. You love to rattle cages, fam. Yeah, you're like you're the G for that. I can I can respect you for that, bruv. But sometimes you have to. Re yeah, when you come onto different channels. Remember, you, even if you went onto Lewis's channel, you said something different to what you said on Terry's channel. People still watch Terry's channel. Yeah. So yeah. the same people, you get know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me just say this. So there's them same people that watches Terry's channel. They could either be in this stream today, or like, do you know what I'm saying? Or in the chat in Lewis's chat and right, or any anyone's channel. Do you know what I mean? So I get like you, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes you'd be like, do you know what? I I did speak my shit. I spoke my shit. It is what it is. We took the uh, we, we drew. It is what it is. Let's move on. Do you know what I mean? I never. Yeah, I never yeah it's like it's like the right anymore. space, the right audience, and the right. Yeah. It's by, like, by the way, by the way, the one thing they're upset about is the fact that I said Manchester United losing to Sheffield United uh, won't be a surprise in comparison to Chelsea beating Arsenal. Yeah, That's what they're saying. You guys didn't beat us, first of all, and second of all, that was a joke because Manchester United were shocking over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> No, 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 I get I can get that. I can get like look, 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 pull it this way, yeah. Before the game started, yeah, let's be real. It's like what Winter said, a big up to Winter. If you give these man two two before the game, 
they're taking it, they're biting your hand off. Yeah? But then after the game happened, you see why they're so fucking pissed off. Sorry, man. We should be the ones right now be like, do you know what? We need to look at ourselves, but we got away with murder with that one. We can't even speak our shit, fam. Like, we, we didn't deserve shit out of that game. Really. Really and truly, we didn't deserve... Like I said, if Rice didn't get given that goal, put it this way, if Rice misses that, or that that go or Sanchez doesn't do that pass, do we then can take any control of that game after? No. That's the question, bro. You don't know. We might have. We might have. We might not have. You don't know, innit? Do you get what I'm saying? So, like, but the likelihood was the way the game was going, we was never gonna end up taking control of that game. But when Rice scored, it was a shock to their system. Yeah, I'm just I'm just pissed off. You get what I'm saying? So. You know what Come on, is, bro. You're my guy. I couldn't, I couldn't see you get cooked like this, bro. I couldn't see you get cooked like this, bro. That's why you came on and tried to chill the whole thing, fam. I want to know. Do certain people just see red when I speak? Because like, I, I feel like sometimes some of the things, I don't even say it. And people are just The me. only thing you're saying is red. Yo, I, let me tell you That's this. Right. Yeah, I don't think you have an idea how... how deluded you are that's the yeah problem. that's exactly what it is yeah no, you know what understand. it is jimmy. no 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 jimmy jimmy this is it no, you know like, it is jimmy like, you know like, what it is jimmy some, no 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 sometimes yeah no 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 no, no, no. you know what it is? sometimes sometimes he no, no, you know what it is yeah. sometimes he can be wildly delusional but you know what where i've got a back up with gal yeah where i have to actually back him up here yeah is most of the times i've seen him he actually does when he's not like when he's not trying to take the piss out of anyone and he's really like talking properly, yeah. Mainly that's probably anywhere any channels but Terry. I don't maybe I'm not and that's not me taking no shots at anyone. I'm just no. saying, like, like, I don't know, do you know what I'm saying? But when I've heard this guy talk, yeah, he does he's real like he's fucking sensible, bruv. He's really and so, more like nine, I'm not even gonna lie, like say no, seven man, times no, out of ten. Man, seven no 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 Alex Alex wait 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 Name me when to come to that stream when he's sensitive, when he's not trolling people. Name me so, when and how. Just, so, uh, just, ask, just go check Lewis's uh, pre match. Yeah, 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 sure. Before. I don't even watch Lewis's channel as much as you think. Like, you've oh, seen dude, they are. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck Lewis. Who the fuck is Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all forget y'all talking to Alex, man. Alex, uh, this is Alex. I forgot, bro. This guy, this guy, this guy shoots. This guy shoots from afar, fam. I'm sorry, live, fam. Any fresh back? From, any fresh back from Chernobyl? He got that full charge. Baby. This has been but yeah, no, I, I big up yourself, you know, Igor. I, 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 I got to dip myself. To I was going to say, I got to dip trying, myself. Yeah, what I was trying to say is, uh, what I was trying to say is, when you go looks at the red. You you are you you cannot like you cannot admit the game game by basis, what has actually been coherent pa pattern since you started the season. There has been a pattern that you the way you started this season, and this pattern is not sustainable. Yeah, and for true. some reason, he won't say you it. deflect in saying <laughs> that what we did, you like for example, you avoid the pattern bad playing by individual performance. That's my problem with you this season. Yes. You admit you can't admit a bad pattern by deflecting to the single game that currently happened. You don't see that pattern because you deflecting the game that you played bad. But this game played bad is not coincidence. It's been happening within this season. Yes. Well, That's why. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, listen, but I got I got to bounce myself in it. I right, big up Mandem. Oh, oh yeah, that's a keeper how long. Again, again, you don't agree to that? You, you don't think you don't think that's been going on every game with you guys? Bro, we have not been convincing like we were last year offensively. Defensively, we've been good. Controlling the midfield at times we've been good. And you know what? Majority of the games we've not been as as good as last year. Do you year. think it's sustainable throughout the season going this way? No, we have to improve our offensive performances or else we cannot win anything. But your yeah, offensive. Pre hold on a second. Hold on a second. But yeah. your offensive performances struggle because you made the changes into your midfield. Your midfield is not as offensively minded like it used to be, because, because you because we changed the things. We don't have Partey in there, and we don't have Jaka in there as much uh, uh, because jaka has gone. And Partey no, 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 no. I think I think I think your midfield is more is more sustainable for the. For a center forward, a stable center forward position, which you, you mean don't defensive, have. Defensive, yeah. 
Listen, I get you, bro. And if you want to sit here and talk about Arsenal this season, we've not been as good as last season. That's a fact. No one can dispute that. You could say overall, underlining statistics, we've looked better defensively, but offensively, we've been poor. Creating chances, right. we've been poor. But at the same time, our best front three has only played one, nine, one game, and that's this game against Chelsea, and they did not mm. play well at all. So I'll give you guys credit. You guys played well defensively. You guys took your chances when needed be. You come out of there with a point. But you know what? Both teams at the end of the day leave disappointed. See, when even you said you came out of it as a point, that's what I'm saying that you trigger me. You personally, I want to slap that cap no, out of you. That, but that's the you fact. Get the point. But that's the fact. We, the fact is we got a point, and I'm disappointed. No, you said you got a point. You came yeah, out you of it. You was given also. a point, motherfucker. Like you, yeah, like you were given a point. Given no, a point. Got, no, both teams got a point. No, but, but he was no, giving it. The so way he said play. it. No, the way he said it. He said it like if you listen to what you're saying, you said the fact that you came out of it with a point. No, no, no disrespect, but I swear, man, you didn't give us a point. We battled the point. You I, shouldn't I be on the you. point. I agree with you. No, I know you agree with me, but the way you said it, it's just like I can't believe you've never been punched in the face in your life. <laughs> what? What does that happen? <laughs> yeah. You're just so annoyed. You're so annoyed. You're so annoyed. You're so it's annoyed. all about how you say things, bro. And I feel like you don't understand that certain words could trigger certain responses. And and it's not my fault that he's annoyed by the fact that he got one point. I get it. We both got one point. Both our teams are going to be upset. We're upset because right. we were challenge. We're trying to challenge for the league. You guys are upset because you guys had a two goal, two goal lead. Both teams leave this right. game upset. What's wrong with that? Right. Anyways, I feel it's like not, it's not really what's wrong with it. It's just the way you said it, bro. That's all it is. No, it's it's not the way I said it. It's the person. No, no, it is. I'm telling it's you, no, it's, the, it's the way bro, you, you can't said tell it, us bro. that the way that we're reacting to the, your words, and you can say that your words aren't the problem. Like we're reacting to your words, bro. Oh, like if, if we're reacting to your words and, and we're saying like the way that you're saying things are triggering us, that's what's happening. Like we're not. We're not like, we're not, we're, I'm not trying to, we're not, I'm, I'm here being cordial now. Like I, I've already no, no, gotten my anger out of it. I'm just I, like, I, I'm being here cordial. Like when we say that the words that you're saying are triggering us, it's the words that you're saying are triggering us, bro. It's not. It's, it's, it's I'm not giving you my perspective that. from an Arsenal hey, fan. Arsenal hey, fans go out of this game upset also. Hey, I understand. You're right. You should be upset because you want to win upset. the league. But the way that you say these things can uh, trigger us. And that's just... And you want to know something? That's just the reality. It is what people it is. Are, yep. People are going to see games differently because of different fan bases. Okay. Majority yeah. of Arsenal fans can sit here and say, you know what? We got out of there with a the point. But at the same time, we shouldn't have been in that situation to begin with. It's and, on the, and the reality is you guys aren't that much better than us. Hey, that right there... We have to wait and see. You guys could you guys could find that you're better equipped to face teams like Arsenal and less equipped to face teams that play low blocks. That's and then true. and then at the end of the season, you'll face more teams with low blocks and you'll be in a worse off position than us. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to figure the low blocks. We'll see. Out, so. We don't have our full squad. I mean, you guys have. Bro, yeah, that's the same thing, bro. So. bro. I never I never once said this is Chelsea's like, best ever team. Best, you guys still have way more levels to go. And yeah, nobody, the other thing even, is, the guy was like, you guys played with like everybody, that this pretty much. Like, you guys played with everybody, and we have at yeah. least three key pieces, like, easily, like, at minimum three key pieces that didn't see this game. So it's like, that's why we feel like we, we, had, we have so much more to take off of this, and we have so much more pain from it. Because and that's why was, you guys are more happy. Coming out of this game, well, yeah, but we we have also so much more pain from it. We have, oh my, happy. I feel like okay. Let me change my words. Oh, you see what my words trigger you guys? You guys, you guys leave this game with more confidence than Arsenal. How about that? Right, but there's also as us fans, there's more pain from it because we saw our team raised to a level that we didn't, we haven't seen yet. So now, when we see that and we lose a two goal lead, that. When when you say things, that's why things. When you say these kind of things, it get becomes so much more triggering in an overall sense. Okay, can I you can know? I give you guys like, an example? Remember the game Martinelli got us the the two two draw. Remember how happy we were? We were ten men. We were a shit team. For us to get that draw was so big for us. So I get your point. 
why you guys are so like confident coming out of this game. But don't think for one second I'm trying to belittle you guys. I'm merely speaking about what actually happened and is triggering some of you guys because of the way I'm saying it. And maybe just the way I deliver things pisses you off. But hey, this is how I'm viewing it from my perspective. You guys that's are gonna fair, brother. Nah, that's fair. You can't that's, belittle that's us because Arsenal's is, little right? bro. That's what man. it is. All I <laughs> wanna say is all I wanna say is you did not you should not be saying anything based on this game. Like any any positive. Any positive from this game? I'll pick up you go. Any positive? Mm-hmm. Arsenal should not have none. One positive. You should be quiet saying we stole the point and yeah. go away. Exactly. That's all the thing Arsenal fans should say. We stole the point and that's it. Because that we battled it. Exactly. We battled it. I, not I you, not you didn't force the battle. We battled it. You didn't force us to battle it. We battled it on our own. Nobody was there. We right. battled it. Not you force us battle it. That's the fact. We battle it on our own. You didn't force us. Peace. Yeah, so, I'm seeing yeah. more Arsenal fans. By the way, full size cap. Game. Full size cap. Backwards. Full size cap. <laughs> Do it right. You know. Do it more Arsenal and Fatou fans. And is not a basketball player than you, Egal. And a dancer. <laughs> and a dance. And a dancer. <laughs> as well, crazy. Right, big up violence saying these performances need to keep coming, unlike the L- unlike after the LFC game, and I think they will build on this. Many players look improved. Palmer is a baller. Yeah, yeah just as long as we bring this into the Brentford game, like we should definitely be getting a win there, and that'll bring us into some more confident feeling going into the Tottenham game and the Man City one. Big Shut up, up to like I real quick. Palmer's a runner. I cut you off. Great line, to be fair. Guyan also says the reason behind Arsenal's bad display was because we tactically nullified their players. We were yeah. the better team. Chelsea is back. Free paper done. I'm not sure what free paper done means, but I agree with you on that. Like our midfield is excellent. I think like, it's every awesome. player was excellent. Yeah, to be yes, they're not that much better than us, and they have a four-year rebuild. We had a four-month rebuild. Mm. Think deep that. And yeah, I, these I gotta go. We got Pumba. We didn't argue today, Pumba. And they still be us. Um, Jojo says you guys are debating with someone who doesn't know tactics. Caicedo pocketed two players. Arsenal was bad. You, you guys didn't come back. Stop trolling. That's I don't get how I don't get how we were saying like um Declan Rice is the second best midfielder a lot. That made no, no sense. Yeah. None, none of the Arsenal midfielders came close to us. None of them. No. no. Like Rice, I think at the most had some drives into the box. I'll see you later, guys. Peace. Peace. That's out. about it. Big up, Alex. That's it. Like, there's nothing near compared to what Caicedo, Enzo, or Gallagher was doing. Right. Um, just before we wrap up, Daniel, what are you saying, bro? It's been a, a lot of chaos, but what's your thoughts been on the game and everything? Uh, well, I, I, I just came into a lot of anger. I didn't know what was going on. I just yeah. let y'all cook, man. Like, <laughs> sometimes I gotta let people just cook. Honestly, I mean, I mean my thoughts are... Little... What? Is, is that me echoing or somebody else? I heard an echo, but it's gone now. It's gone now. Okay, cool. Um, I mean... Yeah, my thoughts were kind of like what I said before the game, right? I said we're going to play really well, you know, um, in this game. It's just the fine margins. Like, we're going to create our chances. If we make errors, are they going to ca- capitalize on it? And, yeah, they, they fucking did. It's just like Liverpool. You know what I'm saying? So that's where it's like a lot of teams are good. That's what people are misunderstanding when they're watching game by game saying, did this team play well or did they play bad? No, overall, most teams in that top six are good. The way you make the top four is by those fine margins. When you do score, when you're supposed to score. Like, Raya did the exact same thing Sanchez did. They gave the ball away to to their, to our uh, player. We couldn't capitalize, and they did. And they came back, and we crumbled, and we gave it away. Those guys should have never won that fucking game. But that exact reason is how our inexperience is going to come into play in this, in this season, where we're going to play really well, create chances. Can we close it out? Even if we can see the goal, can we close it out and end the game in a 2-1? I don't know. So it's like we know these guys are good. It was good to actually see us play well um, against the big team. But I just had flashbacks to Liverpool. Like, we bought them as well. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have a lick, and they just stole it. They stole it from us. So it's, it's the exact same thing. Yeah, basically just that, like, it comes down to minor errors, which is the difference between us at the level that we're at. And to be honest, Arsenal contending for the title. But there are still some positives to take from it. Just yeah, as yeah, long yeah. as we can win the next game, it won't Lewis, feel my, 
just for now. My last thing is, um, and I'll, I'm, I'm just saying that because Scott is here, we talked about it. The Tiago Silva thing. Listen, I was one, and I'm still kind of in there saying, yo, you know, if 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 he's there, his his experience helps, you know, blah blah blah. But that moment after the two one, that's when your experience is supposed to help. I get it. Gusto was just playing his first game in how many weeks? He doesn't know what's going on, or maybe he did see him, but he's just, he's just not on it. You make him on it. So if if you're not doing that, I don't, I I I really don't see why you should get that get that extra contract because everything else is cool. It's just the fine margins, the little things, the you know the leadership or things like that that we don't have, and oh, if you sure. can't give us that. You know, I'm, there's no point. I don't yeah. know, but I don't think Thiago Silva did anything wrong in that game. Colwell it's was wrong. weaker. It's not about center. him doing something Easy. wrong. It's, 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 you go 2 1 down, right? Yeah. I saw, I knew that soccer cross was coming. I knew you guys knew it was coming the moment he cut on his fucking left, right? Not I, know the, yeah, was watching. Not I knew that shit was coming because he's, he, that's a routine that he does. Um, I just, you know, it's, it's almost like the uh, Sanchez thing. I've been saying it for a long time. People was like, Sanchez is good, 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 good. I'm like, yeah, he's good. But to be a Chelsea keeper, you have to be great. You have to have that extra, where you save the the the, the shots that aren't meant to be saved. Where you, where you make, where you, you know what I mean? You do something incredible. That's how, that's what makes you a Chelsea keeper. You, you're almost damn near supposed to be an all-timer. You know what I'm saying? Czech is an all-timer. Courtois is an all-timer. Like, top 10 all-time. So if you're if you're moving in that realm, and we don't have like because we need those little extra things like if we had a world class keeper he saves even if we fuck up with the first pass he saves that 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 shot and we're like oh my god our keeper is great I've never seen that from these guys so it's not that they're bad it's like we just need somebody in there to give us that extra that little bit Michael. more yeah just when we just when we need it overall these guys are going to play well but can you help Daniel, them? That's- with the that's why I said level. earlier when it comes to Sanchez. Like, that's why I wasn't getting mad gassed when he was like saving us from losing, you know, five 0 instead of one 0 to Villa. Like you, there's no pressure in that situation. Yeah, like, we exactly. lose anyway. There's no pressure. Now it's the pressure situation, and what happens? You fuck up because your mentality ain't there. Because you ain't good enough. You're a mid-table goalkeeper at best. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. You fuck up, and, and you also can't bail us out. Like the same way a world-class striker bails you out on the other end. Where they come in and they just score something crazy, and you're like, how the fuck did he score that? It's the same way, like, as a keeper, you're supposed to save certain shots. Like, the shot, that, that you know, trust that shot, good shot, you know. But, you know, when I imagine Allison and imagine Czech, I imagine the top of the top, they save that shit. And now you're feeling frustrated, like, fuck, we should have scored, but he was, yeah. they've done that. You know what I mean? And you've seen us, you've seen our top keepers do that. So that's just the... Those are the tiny levels that may make us not make top four this year. But if we change that next year, it could be the difference. You know what I mean? Like, if we actually get those world-class players in, not to fuck up when we're playing really well and just pass the ball. Because Sanchez does that every game. He does it every game. It's just the first game he's been punished. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. He literally gives that ball away to whoever every single game. So, it's like, we can't say... You know, next game he's, he's not falling into it. a habit. He's do he's falling into game. a bad habit, and he finally got got punished. He got for punished it. for it, you know. And and that's that's just the difference between the top teams, and you know the 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 lesser teams we've been playing yeah. recently. They they just they capitalize on it. Yeah, basically. But overall, honestly, we have some really really good young talented players. Um, they just need that helping hand, to be honest. Just hopefully they learn from it. That's it. They can learn from it and we can manage games in that situation a bit better in future, then yeah. that'll be that'll be something better in the long term, at least. For now, it's just a bit disappointing that we let yeah. it go like that. I said but, I would take yeah, a draw before the game, but after the game, I was so heartbroken because you can't go 2-0 up for 75 minutes. Yeah. It's not even like it was like yeah. the 45th minute or some shit that they conceded. 75. I'm thinking this shit is over. I'm ready to talk shit. I'm ready, I'm getting ready for the um, space. I was already I'm cooking Twitter. Arsenal fans in all my group chats I'm before ready. the first goal. Really? And I was talking big shit before the game. I don't know what it was, but like an hour before the game, my confidence went to a crazy level. So I'm on Twitter <laughs> just going crazy. I'm, I'm I saw the confidence. lineup and it went down a bit personally. But yeah, no, I, was, I, I, was, was. Game. I was pumped up. So when Mudrick made it 2-0, my head was gone. I was just adding everybody. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah you got fucked it. You got fucked it. 
Who are you lot saying you came to the bridge, you got smoked, and then what? He got to tell you. He what? jumped into my space, and so I was just, it just pumped me up. Like, fuck that. We're, we're, we're beating these guys. So I'm, getting, I'm talking shit to all the Arsenal fans, and we're almost there. <laughs> I'm getting ready for this face. These fuckers fucking for me, man. Terrible. Trust me, that second goal just took all the wind out of me. I I, just, I started zoning out of the game after that point. Mm. I just weren't interested. Yeah. So I can't be bothered. Just end, the game. Ball end the game before they score again. Shit pissed me off, but at least they, yeah. they didn't. Thankfully, otherwise we'd never hear the end of that. Never fucking hear the end of that. Even, even so, like, and this is where it's annoying. Like, even they got a draw out of that. It's the same thing with the like with Arsenal fans. It's like because I, I saw like in in the group chat and the sarcasm and secret chat. There's a couple of people mentioned this. Like, they got a draw out of that, and they're still giving it chest because the fact that we gave them like we let them back into the game, we gave them that draw. They should never. They should not have any chest after that. Game. They shouldn't. They shouldn't have had chest. Yeah, but they shouldn't. But they the fact is, is the fact is, is they kind of can. Because they got a point out of that, and that's and that's on us, and it's fucking irritating. That's the main issue because they got they they got they still have chest after all of this, and it's like we really I mean, should have put them in their place. Are they gonna lose? Look, uh, I, I'm gonna break some news to you guys because I, I watched the Sevilla Real Madrid game alongside the Arsenal Southie game. They ain't beating Sevilla away, so like you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we can feast on Tuesday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see our watch-alongs, we will be our, our, you know, Arsenal fans are annoying as hell. Yeah, so. I don't know if you know that, uh, Steve, but Arsenal's story has been written in Champions League. That's why I don't really give a shit what they do. Yeah. They're going to lose. It's, it's what it is. They always lose. They're not a threat. It's the right. league I want them to fucking crumble in because, <laughs> yeah, they're not crumbling yet. They need to crumble. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they just, they, they're not them. They're they the will crumble. Yeah, they're, they're like every week. They're, they're, they're overrated. They're, they're overrated. They're a good team, but they're not a team that can challenge for UCL or Premier League. Like, I just... yeah, they're overrated, and all these Arsenal fans yeah. are just sticking their chest out like they're somebody when they haven't won shit. Like, I don't get it. That's what pissed me off about a gal. Why is he all, the whole week talking shit about? Oh, we're gonna smoke Chelsea. Your little bro. 20 years, bro. You haven't won shit. Cause he thinks because he thinks that they're cap he thinks the Arsenal are capable of challenge for the league. <laughs> so he thinks won. they're capable, but they haven't right. won shit. So he cannot right. talk. Like right. period. That's like nice. I don't get that with that. I mean, like it, for me, I don't even care, bro. It, it, for me, it's like, okay, he's gonna bro, he's just gonna be disappointed at the end of it because he is gonna hype it all up and stuff. And it's probably not going to work out the way he thinks it does. That's why I'm pretty reserved about Newcastle. I just enjoy it game to game. I don't know what we're going to do this season. I just enjoy the and enjoy it game by game. Or if there's a bad game, I say what I got to say. That's really it. Like, yeah. But he wants to do the long game. That's fine. But, like, that's hard to predict, especially in a league with Man City in it, bro. Nobody's winning it besides them, I don't think. Maybe yeah, they even I, I doubt it. Also, a way worse than I thought they would be. Yeah, a uh, lot worse. Mm -hmm. Defensively, still solid going forward. They don't. They don't look like. like they don't look all that. Like I that. don't. I think. I think that like a. I think like a team like Newcastle or Villa puts them to the sword. Really. But oh, I'm, I'm, I am I'm cannot wait to play them at St. James Park. I cannot wait. Will because you watch them anytime soon? Especially this year. Odegaard is, is – he's dropped, like, tremendous levels. Oh, 100%. And I think that's because – I think that's because <laughs> Partey isn't there to, like, find him in those half spaces where he can take, it, take not, advantage. Not of even that. The DMs can't do it. Like, like they just – they can't – Jorginho can't do it, and Rice can't do it. So he's just he's and, and he, he I don't even think it's I don't even think it's Partey. I think like like what makes it funny about all of this is it's Xhaka. Xhaka That's their yeah. biggest miss this season. Yeah. Xhaka. All the Make stuff sure all the stuff that Xhaka was life. doing to them, all the stuff that Xhaka was doing to them, both on the on and off the ball, they've lost. Because no one can cover that left hand side when when Zinchenko wants to invert or like in, in or push up further. You haven't got the guy who's gonna link up with um Erdegaard, because that's not Rice's game. Rice has looked like he's looked good, but he's not looked anywhere near what they paid for him. And Partey right. is just injured all the time. And like you said, Jorginho isn't really that guy. Havertz ain't that. 
the, the guy they've lost is the same guy they were slating for years. Right. Yeah, because I mean, like, that's like an obvious thing where fans, like, they just see, like, FIFA. They just care about the quality of the player. They don't care what he's doing for the team. Mm-hmm. And, well, you know, we're, uh, I'm, I'm not going to admit it yet. I'll, I want to see 10, 15 more games before I say it about a player that we have. But, yeah, for this guy, it's like, you can tell, like, attacking-wise, they have no threat off that left side. Defensively, they have no work rate there. When Rice was playing on the left side in the first half, he was okay, I guess, maybe running the ball up sometimes. But passing was trash. He didn't. He couldn't shoot from out from like he wasn't. A I didn't notice player. him. He I didn't was, notice. He was just kind of there. When they put him in the air, I saw him a lot more. But that begs the question: Who do you play in that role? And I think Partey also helps because on the ball, he was. You have to admit it. He's one of the. He's one of the best. He's a really good player. I mean, he he finds those passes that I think Odegaard was feasting on. And Odegaard is, yeah, he's been trash this year, man. Like the games I've watched, he's just ghosted. He's just unseen. That's always been his thing, though. The big games, it's like, yeah, maybe one. No, out he of... dunked on us last year. He scored like two goals, right? Yeah. Like he didn't, bro. He's he's. he's I was not... terrified of him this year too. I was like, fuck. If anybody does it, it's probably going to be him or Saka. So let's just keep on them. But the game went on. I'm like, yo, Odegaard is. Uh, uh, this isn't it. This is this is this is trash. I don't think you have to worry about him. Saka was playing like trash too. Cucurella, I'll give you credit. You played well. Saka wasn't doing shit. But the one time, it's just like the Salah thing with uh, Kowal, right? The one yeah. time you let him go inside and he crosses it, at least he'll fucking go. Fucking I'm still mad about that shit. Fuck, how did we let that shit slip, bro? Like, yeah, man. I'm going to be annoyed about it all week, bro. I got to fuck Bro, you'll be top six I'm right now, bro. That shit. Top six, looking at the teams we around actually, us. You got a league like, yeah. Pod, pod, I got a back again pod later. I'm live with Northside at nine. Maybe birds, not now. He's going to be here at six. Play, He's as angry no, we'd as be, I am. Yes, we'd true. be ninth right now. We'd only be one position higher. Oh, yeah, because other teams played. have played. Well, by the time we were supposed to play. Oh, shit. We're top half of the table now. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. I'm not yeah, right, right, right now. If we'd have, if yeah, we'd have right, run, yeah, because we beat Palace. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. why. Yeah. Oh, then so speed the though, top so half. Like, My okay, guy. We're, we're moving, we're moving, but the thing is, the thing is that we'd have literally been two points off a of Newcastle in the sixth. Yeah, would have looked. Would have been around those guys. So yeah. Hey, we're four like, points off Newcastle. It's still not bad. It's still yeah. not bad. Plus, we played them in a few games. You know what that does, though, Lewis? It makes other teams like. Because if you're around them, they don't want to get a draw. So they'll come out and really play you and try to win. And that could open up things for you. When you're further away, sometimes you just take that draw like, okay, we only have to worry about two two teams. Let's get the draw and we'll face the next team. So that could have helped us as well because Newcastle would have had a little bit of pressure. Like um, Brentford, all these teams would have had more pressure to come and actually play us because like, oh, well, Chelsea, Chelsea's close to us now. Well, fucking not, man. Fuck. We'll have to get him next time. We'll have to get him next time. Yeah, big up. Man. For now, we're going to wrap it up, though. It's been an insane stream. Three hours 40. We'll be back tomorrow for the Carefree Northside show. So check that out, people. And until na- until then, we're redirecting sides. Everybody head over there. Um, Don't know what to tell him. Tell him hold that with the Saudis or something. And yeah, big <laughs> up, people. We'll see you guys soon. Up the chill.